everyone. Welcome to Anita's Joint, hashtag the Joint, where every day is payday, baby. You're tuned in to another esoteric football commentary with your girl, Anita Flying High. Um, we got a couple games we're going to watch. Um, we got Racing Louisville versus uh, Bayern Munich. Houston are going to be taking on Barcelona. And then Lyon are going to be taking on Portland Thorns. So, you know, a great uh, three games. Hopefully we get some goals. PSG beat um, Chicago one now. I think Maria, Maria Shakur. But um, yeah, I'm super, um, you know, always excited to see football, right? Um, let me get up in here in the Discord. And I um, hope everyone's doing well. I am. Gonna enjoy tonight. Gonna enjoy tonight. Let me. Uh, get up in here real quick. All right, good. Bayern Munich versus Bayern Munich versus Racing Louisville FC. Nice little trophy they got there. that is singing actually. And this game is, man, so this game is on Paramount. Um, I'm not too sure. I think they're starting to show the games on Twitter, which is good. Maybe they were watching your girl. I mean, um, it's good. I mean, if the if they don't have websites like Bayern Munich or if they don't have like, you know, how do you say, like club websites where they can stream and broadcast their games, it's a great way to stream it on Twitter so more people can just uh, hop into it via the hashtag. So um, I think that's great to be able to grow the game. And um, unfortunately, I, like I said, some of it's, it's geo-blocked um, in some countries. So if you're not in that country, you won't be able to watch it. But, um, you know, more and more we're going to be able to get more access and more simpler access to women's football in general like it's so easy to access men's football um and uh all the commercials uh but yeah it'll, it'll eventually happen and um which is good everything takes time right everything takes time but uh Hope y'all been well. <laughs> uh, today is Saturday or Saturn day. And, um, you know, we still, we still going on, right? Every day. We're still shining. We're still smiling. 
You know what I mean? Continuing to uh, make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? I got me some tea and honey. I got me some water. Uh, got some um, good smells going on. Got some music going on in the background as well on Pandora. That boy, Travis Garland, one of my favorite Leo artists. Um, you check him out. Um, so we're going to have a good night. We're going to have a good night. It's going to be a good night. You know, Chicago only allowing um, PSG one goal is a good sign for Houston. And uh, also I came across um, the, uh, the nominees for a Champions League. Barcelona filled, as expected. I think they'll bring home the majority of not all the, tro all the trophies in their section. Um, so it'd be very interesting if uh, every single player that was nominated gets one award. And, but some people might go home with two. But it'd be still cool if everyone got, got an award um, for Barca to make it fair, right? To make it even. But we'll see. As you all know, the voting thing is scripted. Um, so <laughs> I, I didn't mean to spoil it for you. Okay. It, <laughs> you know, we, everything in the matrix, especially in the world of sports, is scripted. If you haven't been following us while we're reading the 9-11, if you haven't been following me reading the number games book, you should know that. By, you, I mean, you'll know that by now. Everything is scripted when it comes to the awards and sports and who wins and who doesn't win, how much they lose by. Um, but we can still enjoy the game and enjoy, I guess, watching the the fundamentals of the game grow. We get to watch how, um, how more talented the ladies are getting. Uh, or they probably are, were always talented. We just weren't able to see them on TV, right? But the game is kicked off here. Looks like a good, little healthy, good crowd. Um, and they're in racing. Uh, they're in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, Lynn Family Stadium. I, okay, so the first time we ever got to see um, racing Louisville, their stadium was packed, right? And I really do like... Um, how the, the supporters come out for them and um, it's a nice crowd. Apparently it was hot, so it might be a little cool, cooler down. Cooler down. Might be a little more cool down now. So um, hopefully we get more than one goal and hopefully it's a good game. Um, Bayern Munich, I'm not too sure when their season are starting, but uh, racing Louisville, as you know, I think they're in eighth place right now in WSL. Houston's like one spot ahead of them, so. The Bayern Munich beat out PSG in penalties and they beat Lyon last time we watched them as well. So probably a, a better strength inside for Bayern. But we're gonna see how Racing Louis will do. First time ever seeing these two teams clash, which is like amazing, right? First time in history. Um, so we're making history tonight. Everyone's making history tonight. You're tuned in with your girl. It's divine timing. You were meant to be here or not. It's okay. If you're watching the replay, hey. Um. We're going to see what they can do. They're going to see the jerk. Um, I guess Byron won the champion, won the league this year. I think that was right. They beat, I mean, they beat up Wolfsburg. So I think Bayern Munich won the champions, uh, won their uh, league. So we're going to look out to see who, who, who's, who, uh, who I could see who, who's making a big difference in the game. Cause you know, sometimes 
you know, the star players, um, they'll let themselves be known so we can identify them. But they're all stars, as we all know, as we are as well. Ooh, she got behind her. Hmm. Called the, it's called the Women's Cup. <laughs> I don't know who named it. It's very interesting, kind of, kind of simple, but you know, I guess sometimes simple is better. When it came to the UEFA Women's uh, Champions League, when it came to the UEFA's um, awards, the only thing I could say was the Defender uh, nominees was the only one I was having trouble picking. Um, all three were great, great um, candidates to win the award this year. Um, so we'll see if they get awarded for their success. Or quote unquote, chosen. Play from Byron again. Okay, is that, oh, goal kick, okay, not a corner. This player on the wing looks familiar. Um, I think that's Berenstinius from the Dutch. And if number, I don't know, number two looks like um, Jakobsen for some reason, but I thought she played for Real Madrid, but I'm not too sure. You know, the Swedes look alike. <laughs> Let me see if I can find, um, Bayern Munich starting lineup. Okay, so we got the lineup. Hey, it is Jakobsen. I knew I spotted her. The Swedish superstar, Jakobsen. Last time I seen her, she was playing for Real Madrid, but she's back. I, she's in Germany now. Okay, number 80. We're going to be looking out for her. Uh, number six, Baron uh, Stenius. When she came on um, the second half, a little bit towards the end against USA and the Netherlands, she was very, very um, impactful, and she almost scored uh, some goals. So she's a great player as well, so I'll be looking forward to seeing her. Uh, and she has my number, number six, of course. So, <laughs> But um, number 18, I guess, see? 
she seems to. There's a couple players I'm kind of recognizing. I guess a lot of players made made moves this over the break. Um, well, not moves over the break, but um, you know, this transfer season. All right. Now here's Jacobson on the ball. And she's playing the right wing. Um, let me look at Racing Louisville's lineup. Because they might be resting players. But I don't think so. Well, let me just see. I don't, I'm not spotting anybody that I can off right. Let me get this. Oh, but um, Racing Louisville tweeted that um, Emily, oh, Emily, Ella Sanchez, a 16-year-old out of the Louisville City Academy program, will be available for selection off the bench for tonight's non-league game. So, um, congratulations to her. Okay, so the lineup for Racing Louisville very different. Left a lot of the starters on the bench. Um, I don't know if they had a say in it. I mean, when you think about it, they're in eighth position. I'm not saying it's like um, they can't come back and win, but, you know, I want to know how many ladies stop or how many ladies wanted to play um, in the final gets farm, right? So we'll see what happens when it comes to halftime stubs. And we'll see who can make an impact um, who they brought out there. Uh, hello. Welcome. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, let us know where you're from. Let us know where you're from, if you'd like to share. Ooh. And if you're rooting for a, a, a team, let, let, let us know, let, let your girl know. Seraphine Bro. <laughs> nice hustle. I had to try to balance like I made I made tea like I've been up since like uh, five six or seven so I went to the gym right about seven thirty so your girl's been up but like of course I took a nap uh, but um, my sleep schedule has kind of been uh, on and off. Sometimes I don't know why for some reason, but um, 
I have my tea, so I'm trying to balance. See if it can last me all six hours tonight. Uh, at least the cups that I have. And I guess I'll drink some water as well. But <laughs> So, so far, Byron's getting all the attacking on the right side so far, finding a uh, space. But the midfield's very compact for uh, racing. And they're, and they're trying to touch every defender, I mean, every uh, player as well. You got a, was that a corner? Corner for Bayern? I mean. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> Short corner, oof, good defense. She on sides? No. I wonder why she chose 80. <laughs> Very interesting number. 80. is going to die. Come on, I got 49 percent. Come on now. All right. Free kick for racing. This is the first uh, good opportunity, uh, you know, with a set piece to see if they can find someone. Uh, all right, all sides. Mm. Not what they would have wanted. Malcolm. I think the last time we seen her, she was like, she came off the bench and scored, and I think it was against Houston as well. <laughs> a lot of a lot of teams get their first, get a lot of like their first ever's against Houston, and so I just think we have great, great first times. <laughs> so uh, shout out to all the Houston Dash players <laughs> and everybody that got their first. First time, first school, first whatever. You can always come to Houston and we'll always give you a good time. All right.
Mm. That was going to be a tough shot. Schooler? Schooler? Like Mueller? Mueller? Schooler? Uh, I'm not too sure if she's a uh, German, but I think she probably is, based upon the last name. And there's NWSL action today, too. So it's like so much football today, and we have to really <laughs> decide to pick and choose what games we tune into. But, um, of course, we're all about the first time ever. Barca have never played... Houston, Houston has never played Barcelona. Like I said, again, Byron has never played Luce Racing Louisville. And Portland Thorns, I don't think they've ever played Lyon. So, I mean, that's how we ball out. <laughs> I think that's great, you know. And um, I, ah, I, I see What you got? Matthews, number 20. First 20 minutes. Um, Byron probably had more possession, more passes. Um, but racing are not letting anything out, let, letting anything in. Everyone's moving really well together, uh, both teams. Active. This should maybe she has Jakobsen for post. Now Byron has some time to pick up, pick out some players. Uh, that pass into the box was not good. Needed to be a little better. Nice moves right there by Matthews. She's able to get past the Byron defender. Uh, okay. All sides. Oh, that was very difficult to see. Can we get a replay? No? Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it looked like she had slowed up her run and and then, and I, because I didn't think she'd actually get to the ball. Um, ball comb, so, but we didn't get the replay. Oh, well. Right again, Jakobsen's free. Nice. Ooh. Also, we didn't see the ball get crossed. It was late. Camera was late. Blocked by. Blocked long shot by racing. Okay. Ooh. Good tackle. That was close. They had, Bayern Munich had three runners in the box as well. Berenstinius was setting it up. She could have passed it back. 
she went for that. Um, the runner near post. She had a cutback, but um, well, she had someone trailing in the box. There you go. All right, a corner for Byron. Let's see, last time they had a short corner. Well, they uh, oh, good defense, good defense. They had a runner on that far post. Okay, so another corner. I think this is third, corner number three for Byron. Uh, one on the right. I'm sorry, two on the right, one on the left. All right, racing have a, uh, I'd say a fast break. Let's see if they can do something in transition. She got the pace for it too. I wasn't hands on the shoulder, but good defense from Byron. Good pressure from Racing to get the ball back in on uh, Byron's field. Ah. Little scramble. <laughs> but she went down pretty fast but that's good for racing uh, I feel like they needed to um, we gotta make sure they help each other and there's an outlet pass when you're in the corner with the ball uh, or and they tried to uh, like I said press with the three players to get the ball back they're doing that really well racing She should have had, she could have passed it um, to the runner. She went for gold off. Racing trying to play at the back. Hopefully that doesn't hurt them. Matthews for racing. She seems to be a bright spot so far for racing. Um, she looks like she has the pace for it as well.
Let's take a look. Let me see something. I saw something on someone else's YouTube. Um, I'll see. I'll see at halftime. I'll see what I can do. Oh, good. Good save. Beethoven comes out. Two players down. He put the ball out. Okay. While well, we're having a break in time. Let me see if I can do something. So North Carolina is going to be playing Kansas City, and Old Rain are going to be playing New York, New Jersey, Gotham FC tonight as well. Of course, it's Jakobsen, number 80, going head to head. Well, they're going to take that as a hydration, a hydration break. Those are some highlights. I was just seeing what was going on here. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to see if... Uh, They even have this game even like on here on ESPN. Let They're gonna have North Carolina already. Okay, so they're gonna have. Okay, okay. Let me just go up and stop scrolling. All right, that's the one I'm on. Okay. All right, let me get back. Let me get back to the game. All right, so there's still hydration break. 32 minutes in. And Jakobsen has been a bright spot, of course, for Bayern. So Jakobsen and Stevens, I'm sorry, Jakobsen and, Jakobsen and, and um, Matthews, both team, for both teams have been um, showing some activity, maybe potentially scoring a goal. Um, Bernstinius as well got the uh, Racing Louisville supporters out there.
Mm. Okay, but I don't have to. Ooh, good save by Big Toes. I was going through a lot of bodies. One thing about um, one first not playing a team ever before, and then a playing a team um, that plays a difficult uh, plays a difficult that plays a different playing style than you do. Um, but nice back heel from Maxinius. Uh You know, we we talked about maybe these games would be blowouts, but um, racing Louisville and Chicago showed differently. Oh, wow. That would have been a great goal. Um, good effort, good shot. And, you know, a lot of things will come into play, of course. Racing is in form. Byron is not as well. But the stigmas around European football, American football, are for the birds, the critics, you know, every team. Remember, I will always remember what Hope Powell said. Um, she says, you're not playing the name, you're playing the game. Meaning you're playing football. You're not playing Bayern Munich, you're playing the game of football. So that is something I'll take with me as a gym. She dropped on all of us to always remember. Um, don't be intimidated by the badge. Um, can they play football? That's what really matters. And Byron have had pretty much a good, at least a good four shots. At least four shots on goal. Maybe I'm going to give him two. Four shots, two out of the four were on target. Um, racing haven't had anything, though, but they haven't conceded yet. Another big save from Betos again. And she took the she took it first time. She had a little bit more space to maybe uh, let's watch the replay again. I don't know. Maybe I like that she did take it first time, but I don't know after that. Oh, Hendricks got a yellow card for that challenge. Um, All right, so this is the fourth corner, I believe, for uh, Bayern. Okay, so this one's going to be a short one. Ooh, got to be better.
Okay, you got a free kick draw by Byron. Five minutes till halftime. Of course. You don't want to give too many teams multiple, at least five plus opportunities. Well, when it comes to set pieces, it's a little different, but you don't want to give them a handful, meaning five or more, um, but five uh, to be able to tee the ball to a teammate, you know. Ooh, close. Because eventually they're going to find each other, right? That's his principle. But sometimes we see it where it doesn't happen that way. But most good teams, they find each other. It's got to be a more accurate header there. But good try, good try. Another, another shot for Bayern. Got the lineups for Houston and Barca. Looks like uh, uh, oh shit! I see you, Houston. I see you, Houston. Okay. So we got pretty much everyone's back. Almost. I don't know. He's playing. <laughs> we'll talk about Houston in a minute. Barcelona have put in um, oh, uh, some subs. We can see their goalkeeper is subbed. Um, of course, Buteas is not in the lineup. Um, and I forgot who the, he had started, number 19. We'll talk about the team in a minute after after half time. But this looks like a good lineup for Houston to be able to capitalize on. And Houston look, oh yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Clear. Betos is down again. She's been busy in these last 10 minutes. Head and head. One. Something about the Swedes. Oh, she kind of tripped over Jakobsen's foot when she was coming up to save the ball. Oh, yeah. It was accidental. Houston just, Houston just, Houston's lineup put a smile back on my face. So I was a little worried about them, you know? <laughs> As only a true supporter should be. You know, being born in Houston, you know, I didn't live in Houston for too long uh, as a child, but in my uh, younger, my you know, my junior year and my senior year, oh well, I I stay. I was in Houston for for a good two years. Oh yeah, yeah. And also, we're gonna have the um, the Twitch chat on for the. Uh, 
Kansas and North Carolina match as well, so we can see what they're chatting about. See how their heads are as we are. I can chat in there as well. <laughs> Oh my goodness. A lot of bodies are on the ground there. But nothing. Matthews is down for a second for racing. Three minutes till uh, half time. <laughs> oh, shit. And hopefully we see some um, of the starting team in halftime. I mean, I will in the second half see if someone can punch in a goal or at least give uh, racing an opportunity to, to get a shot. But they've done great the first 45. They tell us it's coming up big. Um, I think they're just giving up too many corners. I think it was four, four or five corners so far, and I don't believe they've had one. So that's my only uh, really thing that racing has to improve on. Thirty seconds. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, when it comes to can North Carolina should get the dub. I'm, I mean. I'm kind of saying based upon Houston lineup, I guess everybody's back playing when it comes to, I didn't see Chapman. Yeah, let me tell everyone hi. Oh. All right, that's the half. It's still nil nil here in right here in um, Kentucky. Bentos is coming up with some big saves, but uh, let me get back over here real quick and um, let's look. Let's see if we can get Houston's line. Um, this lineup that we just see for Houston. Houston Dash. All right, brilliant. Okay, let me share my screen with y'all. Okay, so um, we'll start with Barcelona. They're going to be playing in a 3-4-1-2. 
last time we seen them play, they played in that three back. Uh, you know, Mafi. Um, uh, Perez, she came from PSG, a new goalkeeper. Uh, Panos was usually the starter. Not sure, sure who number three is, not familiar. Uh, Konojevic, I think is how you saw her name. She was she started last game. Um, Antiana, of course, uh, Patri. Uh, I think this is Mar Marta. Um, so we're going to be looking for, and then you have Caroline Graham Hansen, Pina, and then you have Mariona. Mariona scored two goals last game, good goals. Um, and Graham Hansen, Caroline, um, remember I was telling y'all the last time I had looked at the stats, she had 16 assists like the season, last season. So that's incredible, you know. And of course for Houston, they're going to be in a 4-3-3. Four, 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 three, three. As you can see, Jane Campbell's back. Um, Katie Knott and um, Megan Oyster have been the pairing all season. Siler, very interesting to have her as a right back. I mean, a left back. She's usually playing in the mid, and Spencer has been playing um, in that right back position. I'm guessing Haley Hansen is injured. Shea Groom, she had, I think she scored two goals or one goal. She's back. Um, I'm happy that she's scoring. Sophie Smith, she was playing, I think, last night. We haven't seen Chris Mewis in, in a while. Um, she didn't really get too many minutes at the World, at the Olympics, so, you know, we're happy to see her again. Last goal, she's been had a pretty great season, in my my opinion. Um, just she's a consistent runner for 90 minutes. Of course, the captain Rachel Daly. I'm happy to have her back up top. And Michelle Prince, we're happy to have her back as well. You know, I missed the um Houston really has missed that uh pace that she was gonna bring. And hopefully they can, you know do well they're gonna to have to be able to possess with barca's five woman midfield as you can see here um they're gonna to have to really figure it out um uh, on the bench is of course you know see puteas oshawala martins is on the bench we hadn't seen her um i'm not familiar with anybody else too too much um Megan Rosa, Christine Nair. And remember, we've seen Houston, you know, not do so well on the penalties. Um, but Christine Nair, Vasali, um, Jamaica Fields, uh, Michelle Azul, and Michaela are two players, and Stevens, 33, 34, and 35. Our players uh, to be looking forward to for Houston Dash, I feel. Of course, with uh, Vasali, Oval, um, Jamaica Fields. But um, the three, number 33, number 34, number 35, those are players that we've kind of got to learn a little bit. Not too much. Uh, Michaela just two games ago, really. I think uh, hopefully she can help Houston score some goals. She's a very tall and physical player. Um, and um, I, the fact that she already scored is is a great uh, is great for Houston. And Stevens, I like the fact that she can play and dribble on the ball. She's still young. I think she's a rookie this season. Um, and for Houston, of course, we need to be looking at that left back and right back position um, to make sure that's sure enough. I like the fact that we have pace. You know, Chapman is going to eventually need to going to retire. And uh, Haley Hansen, I guess she's hurt, or hopefully she can get, you know, sold or something. Uh, in the midfield, as you can see, Mewis, Smith, and Groom, you know, it's really nice to have Mewis back because of her left foot and, you know, just overall her creativity. Um, and I'm, we're going to see, we're going to see what, I don't think we've, I'm not too sure if we've ever had a Lasko Daily Prince lineup. Maybe we have, or I don't remember, but um, I like the lineup and hopefully they can, you know, score against the treble winners. 
uh, Barcelona, you know? Hopefully it's a good game, but we'll see. You said it's probably, it's probably going to be a fourth, fourth, uh, are you talking to who? Who are you talking about, Barcelona or Houston? I'm not, I'm not sure who you're talking about. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. It's still on commercials. But yeah, everyone. We're still rocking out. We're still cool. We're still chill. Oh, okay, thank you. So number five is Melanie. I wasn't too sure. I don't think she started last game. Last time we seen Barca. Well, we're going to see. Hopefully, Houston won't be losing by the time this game is done here. We got like good 45. And then we'll tune over to them. And then um, Lyon played Portland. I'm actually excited to see that game as well. Lyon really gave me a. I mean, honestly, the, um, the Barcelona and. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, how do you say Barcelona Leon game was very uh, back and forth, very exciting, and I kind of got even more passion for Leon now. I feel like I fall in love with all the football teams, uh, but um, I don't care either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't care. As you can see, I'm rocking my PSG. I got Houston. You know, we're watching. Bayern Munich versus Racing Louisville. You know what I'm saying? Your girl, I just, I just, you know, football is, is excites me. Um, but yeah, that game was great. Uh, three, two. And um, I'm very interested to see how Portland do against Lyon. And, and I'm really excited to see how Portland does against, uh, or how Lyon does against Portland, you know? And especially because we're seeing uh, the lineup changes, and you know the second forty-five can mean oh, is a totally different match depending on who comes on the pitch and who doesn't, as you already know. Y'all, you don't like Leon and PSG, Anton, but you need everyone who needs a rival, and that's okay. Everyone needs a rival team or teams <laughs> in your case. But, um, you know, I'm all for the great players. And, you know, there's we, we talked about there's only about 10 clubs that host some of the best women in the world, right? About 10. And, um, and then they're spread it out all when it comes to um, – He said, uh, Barcelona, we haven't beaten them yet. Barcelona? Are you talking about Barcelona? Who has it, Bar who has it? Who hasn't beaten? Who hasn't beaten y'all, them yet? I'm not too sure who you're talking about. But um, we, we talked about this as well. Um, it only makes sense that, it only makes sense that 
Well, here's some saves from Bates House, of course. Oh, okay. You haven't beaten Leon yet, and PSG have unlimited money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because in France, um, yeah, they have they have a lot of money over there, huh? They just bought Messi, right? <laughs> they got Messi money. <laughs> well, so does Barca. Barca has had Messi money. PSG has Messi money now. It is a, a elite group of teams. Man City got Messi money if they wanted to. Um. It's really nice to have unlimited money, isn't it, in the game of football? Yeah, especially when I play FIFA. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure who that is, but I'm not too sure who that is, but they have unlimited money. But um it's really great to be able to have money to be able to buy the best players in the world at the moment. If you're a football club owner, even if I don't know how he's gotten his money, it, but it's really nice, ain't it? You know, um, you call it a, we call it a state club, meaning it's financed by a country. So PSG, so the, the um, well, you know, remember, you know, everything trickles down. We, as the consumers that buy jerseys and buy certain memorabilia, we also help, but not as much. But I remember um, someone had said most of the money goes to the wages of the players um but remember um you know you can't put a price on us but in the game of football it's really nice to have money <laughs> it's a great incentive to bring the best players from any country to come play for your team and possibly win a trophy for that season or seasons to come. Um, so as we see, we see the heavy hitters that get to play with the money. And then we see the other teams, you know, do what they can. Um, but then we get to hear the stories of the, uh, the youth players coming up from the ranks, which is always inspirational. And um, those are stories. We always like the underdog stories more than the stories, you know, that are not the underdogs, right? And um, we cannot, uh, you know, be upset. We can just realize and understand uh, it is what it is, right? Right. You said uh, that's what sustains Barca, the partners. Yeah, you know, you need um, people to, to invest in, in things with you. And it's really great if those people that invest in you have, have uh, cast a splash, you know, because um, especially in the world of sports, especially in the world of football, it's such a good, it's such a big revenue, especially in the men's game. Um, and um, we will see. All right, the second half is kicking off here. Looks like we got some subs from Bar from Barca, from Bayern Munich.
to me. <laughs> but yeah, they, uh, when I, you know, <sighs> eventually the best males clubs, like will have the best female clubs. Cause I felt like that's just how it's supposed to work, right? Barcelona men were very, very well, are very, very good. And then eventually their women will be just as talented as, as well. And so that's why, you know, I didn't understand why Real Madrid took so long to get a team, Man United to get a team, you know. Um, you say we have values and respect. That's where our motto is mesquite and club more than a club comes from it's very good to have values and respect those are principles and virtues you should live by as an individual always so it's really good that barcelona have implemented that into their game and made it their motto because it just reminds us of the fact we need to value and respect each every each and every single one of us that are walking the planet. You don't have to be a Barcelona supporter to have value and respect because that's something that we should already know, right? But it is very great when you have teams that are well known in the world to put out certain principles and virtues that they must stand upon. And when they don't stand upon their values that they push we will see it. All right, 47, let's see. Let's see if Racing can come back. Or oh, not come back, see if Racing can get more activity near uh, Bayern's goal. They have not tested their goalkeeper at all. She's been having a quiet night. You know, someone important told me, someone, uh, Ralph Smart says, and I always remind myself, <clears throat> and I have to remind myself, uh, not to promote what we hate, but to promote what we love. And it, it's a thin line between love and hate, because sometimes the lines get blurred, and sometimes we're really pissed off. And, um, but we should always remember to transmute that energy and be the alchemist and, and give love instead of hate because it's just a football team. And <laughs> oh, there's a goal. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Hey, Byron. Let's go. Hey. Let's go, Byron. Nice. Sorry, Beto's. I didn't mean to celebrate so hard. Let's see. Number 17. Who is this? Nice finish. Nice finish. Well deserved. Viola? Viola? Number 17. Good goal. Finally, we have the opener of the final of the Women's Cup. That's good. But right at, right at the kick of, not almost the kick of halftime, but you know. Um,
That's really good. That's really good from them. Now, looks like someone has scored a goal over here in the chat. It looks like Lynn Williams. Let's see. Let's see. I'm reading the chat. So there is goals simultaneously. Oh, yeah. Lynn Williams has scored for North Carolina Courage. Shout out to Lynn Williams. She should have played more. But, you know, it is what it is. Appreciate the girl. Let's see. Byron feel a lot more comfortable now getting that goal. And much deserved. They've been the only kind of attacking team, attacking side, the first 45. Uh Something said, someone said crazy assist, though. Damn, I wonder who assisted uh, the goal. I wonder, maybe Dabinia. <laughs> so was so was Dave as well. y'all's I feel y'all's energy in here <laughs> uh let me know if y'all have any predictions for um Barcelona and Houston and Portland and Leon <laughs> outrageous to the most outrageous we want to hear it because anything's possible after after all barcelona are the best in the world right now some would say i would say but they did lose okay 4 0 okay Houston zero, Barcelona four. Okay. Hopefully Houston can get a goal in that score four score line. And then you say Leon three, Portland one. Okay. Nice. Well, here's a chance. Oh, good finish. Let's go. Go. Who is this, Valkun? Nice. It's 1-1. One, one. She had to take it. It was 1v1, one, one versus her and the goalkeeper. And she got it done. Nice. We got a game the second half. We got the smoke, the purple smoke. Yay. That's what's up. And it was pretty fast, the equalizer. Yeah, what you think? Was it a missed time pass? You know, you, you, she just used her muscle and a good curly finish with her, right? <laughs> good finish. He said, we don't have our strongest 11 playing, though. <clears throat> I'm not the manager of that. <laughs> I'm not the manager of that. And we would, but I'm going for Houston, of course. It happens. Sometimes your best players don't play, or you say your strongest 11 don't play. But, um, you know, that happens. And we'll see how much of an impact that will affect Barcelona. And I'm going to see if Houston can capitalize on Barca's not so strong 11.
you said you said i agree with the manager it is time to try new things because we can't play the same players all the time yes and then we'll be able to know more players for barca right because if we see the same players um one are they not getting playing time and then they won't be able to play in a high level competition and a high level game because we know practice makes perfect but the real game is when you want to play but um you do need a, a good bench i feel barca have a great i think they have a good bench i'm not familiar with the names just I'm not as familiar with Houston's bench as well, not too much. But as new stars are born every single day on the football field, off the football field, we're able to see them. And um, it's very great to have a manager to be able to try things, try new things, because newness is something that we all enjoy um, because it's new something we've never seen before. And then it challenges the players um, to be able to develop chemistry and it challenges the players' um, ability to work with the new formation, to work with new players. Um, and that's something beautiful about, um, you know, just changing the lineups. Someone on the Twitch at said, "What do y'all think of what do y'all think the scoreline between Houston and Barca is going to be? Three-one uh, or four-one Barca?" And Marie says, and then uh, Carvajal says, "Barca three, Houston dash two. That's what I like it. I like I like it. I like it. Thank y'all, y'all. I think I like it. Houston get some love. That's what I'm talking about. And I think, um, oh, we just seen the um, attendance record set 7,000 and something. But that's really great. That's really good. That's really good. 3K away from 10K. So, um, well, I'm sorry, less than 3K away from 10K, which is good. It's an improvement. It's really good. I mean, well, I don't know. I'm not too sure how many supporters they'd be having, but I know they have a lot more than Houston. But um, it's really good to have, you know, at least 5K supporters at your stadium because, you know, it's, it's good energy. Uh, it's good, and it's the supporters of the town of Kentucky, Louisville, and, uh, you know, that's what's up. Uh <laughs> so what's uh, what's what what's more in this match it is picket versus picket and picket i know they have a lot of i think there's um two pickets on kansas city team and then of course carson picket for north carolina courage it's hilarious <laughs> to see how fast Byron can oh it looks like a Jess McDonald has scored oh big save from Betos um Berenstinius with a good shot on the goal a great shot on goal Oh, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a good shot uh, from Restinius. She had three Racy Louisville players chasing her as well. Still got a shot, but Betos was there. Strong hands from her. Okay, is he hydra oh oh players down? And I guess the hydration break, maybe? Two thousand fifteen goalkeeper of the year. She's had like four, three, four or five, at least four saves this game. <clears throat> she's she's able to come out of that one v one challenge against Jakobsen in the first half. Looks like she's got a knot underneath her eye. Goodness, <laughs> she's getting it's getting um it's getting bruised out there. They tell us. I think is Betos the only player to score a header? The goalkeeper? I think when she played for Portland. I don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. Got about 30 minutes left this final. I believe if it does stay even, it'll go straight to penalties. I don't think there'll be any extra time, just like last time. But hopefully we get a winner in regular time. Someone's barbecuing. I can smell the everything outside. <laughs> it smells good. Close because Betos didn't grab that. Anstinius was there for a tap and goal. We've said her name quite a few. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Looks like some more PSG players left PSG to Byron. The sub. Um, let me find uh, ESPN.
I was like, what is that? It was my other, my phone in my pocket. Okay. What's going on here? Stretch. Oh, if you stretch. Let me see. Um, watch. What's going on here? Is it another water break? I'm confused. It looks like a water break. <laughs> or no, he's talking to the subs. I wasn't too sure why we have the camera on over here. McCaskill and Nakasato are going to be making in Rael. Going to be coming in for racing. Yo. Okay, Beethoven is down. I bet she's up. Let me see what's going on. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so it's kind of like a timeout real quick because Betos was getting injury checked upon. She might not make it all the rest of the half. But um, okay. <clears throat> Let me warm up my tea while we're all waiting. Oh, they're still talking. <laughs> they're still talking, I see. It's been a very long delay of game over here with Racing Louisville and Bayern Munich. Hopefully they can get it figured out and the match can resume because it really did kill momentum for both sides. I guess it was um, complications um, when it came to the score sheet. He didn't know who to. Oh, they had to sub the goalkeeper, Betos. I'm super happy Jane Campbell is being able to face uh a team like Barcelona because they're going to really challenge her in the goal. Uh, so I'm really happy she's getting this. I'm really happy for all the ladies. And I mean, I, I'm just really happy for um, them to get this experience to face the Champions League champions of this year, uh, Houston, because it could have been a different team, right? 
but I'm really happy uh, Houston got to be involved in this tournament in Portland with some of the best teams and with some of the best teams in the world, right? So Simon comes off. <clears throat> All right. Well, racing hat racing and Byron both have 20 minutes to win it in regular time. And uh like I always tell y'all, it's always a party when Houston's in town, so I feel Houston, they're going to give Barca a, a run for their money. <laughs> um, and I think it's going to, hopefully it's going to be a very uh, up-tempo game um, as well. See if we can catch catch Barca slipping. <laughs> you know, sometimes you need to take an L, Barca. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, I, I'll play a JK. But you know, this one would be nice, Barca. You know, Houston, that would be good, good underneath Houston, Houston stripes. Houston would gain some more uh winning points, as you would say. Um all right. Apparently there's um 3.3k right now viewing on the Twitch in the Weasel 2 for Kansas City and North Carolina Courage, which is really good. Oh, oh, double teamed. Falcon, the goal scorer. All right. Ooh, nice moves. Ah, just heavy touch. Azia, I think that's her name. Number eighteen. I think she she played for PSG last season. She was a great player. To I got to enjoy watching. PSG have a lot of good players that I like to watch. Um, they look really good um, when we got to see them. I didn't really watch. I didn't. I didn't know that their game was going to be on like earlier and I would have tuned in a little earlier, but happy that they, uh, they, they won, but Chicago gave them a good fight. It, they almost scored right at the end as well. Kalia Watt should have took it with her right foot, but she turned left. So, you know, it sucks, but, uh, That's cool. So she's 2018, 2019, 2020. 20. Okay, so she's only like three years in this. She's only three years in in deep in WSL Savannah McCaskill. I'm not sure if she played abroad, but um, All right, 75 minutes. I think, is this Bracing's first corner? <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, so close. That was, oh, that's Gemma Bonner. We've seen her. She scored, I think, maybe, I'm not so sure, maybe at least three goals for, for Man City. I'm super excited to see how City um, line up seeing all these other teams, <laughs> you know, have, we haven't got to see City and like, I feel like I haven't seen City play in forever, even though a lot of the ladies were a part of Team Great Britain. I feel like I haven't seen them and they have so many great additions I'm looking forward to. And uh, to give, of course, champions Chelsea a run for their money again, like last season. Ooh, good save by Jane Campbell. Great cross in by Graham Hansen. But Barca threatening eight minutes in. Great. Oh, yeah, that's the replay of the goal as well. But... Um, Jane Campbell with the save. She's going to be busy. You're going to be busy tonight. Welcome back, Jane. We missed you. <laughs> this is the other replay of the goal. Alcum's goal. <laughs> she was like, get off me, son. Get off me. Yeah, within five minutes. Within five minutes, both both goals. And, of course, what's so great was that, you know, Houston got to probably watch film of Leon versus Barcelona, of course, uh, and seeing how they play, of course, but with the greatest with their greatest players, you would say, on the pitch, or their strongest players on the pitch, besides a couple few. But, um, you know, how Leon were able to score against them, two headers, and then it was like a tap-in goal at the end. Um, but we all know Barcelona are going to keep the ball. So you got to pick your chances. Uh, and when you do, you got to make sure you're accurate to punish them. Because you may not get another opportunity for the rest of the game. <laughs> and uh, that's what's so crazy about them. They, they, just have, they control the ball so, so well, consistently. All right. Ooh, good, good save by racing, good clearance. I wonder, no, I guess he might be resting. I don't know if we'll see Nadia uh, today. I like what Houston's doing. Um, the fact that you got a player like Lasco to be able to hold up the ball um, as a striker is really, really good. Um, and uh, I'm liking the first 12 minutes so far. So good for Houston. Ooh, oh, nice, nice save by Jasmine Spencer. We're gonna need that pace on the width, on the wings as well. Houston, you don't want to give it, Barca, how you call it? Um, you don't want to give them um, mm, the plate, right? Oh, 
bushy offsides, uh, and it's got to be a better cross. But I like it. I like it. He's. I like it. It's really good. Really good. Because because Barcelona are going to try to get the ball back immediately. Then you have to be able to whip that ball either over the top uh, because they're playing a three back. So see if you can get in between those players. Hmm. They're putting up a stat for us. Very interesting. Oh, oh, nine minutes left here in racing in Byron. Let me see what the score is when it comes to... I know, I think it's 2-0 for... I think it's 2-0... Um, North Carolina Courage, Kansas City. Let me see. The Caskell with the yellow. Um, okay, North Carolina Courage, here we go. Yeah, okay, so it's 2-0. Lynn Williams and Jess McDonald have scored. Okay. Good from Houston. That's a good pass. Because Barca are going to be, of course, like having so many players in the midfield, they have to be really careful. And Christy has to make sure she gets rid of that ball a little quicker. Because if you have three players running at you because <laughs> of everyone uh, trying to go for the ball, that means someone's wide open, right? Right, Houston. Hey, ref, foul. Maybe not. Oh. Hey, hey, there's a goal. Nakasato. Hey, let's go racing. All right. 84th minute. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. I don't think anybody expected that. I didn't expect that. Um, let's go. Racing Louisville. Making history. Are they making history tonight? Let's see. What happened? They're trying to play from the back. Both teammates got in front of each other, and she got that post love. Nakasato threw her legs at it. She's like, you know what? Might as well. <laughs> That's a nice volley. What a goal. Hey, Houston. Oh, man, that was so close. But great effort from Lasco. Love it. Shea Groom. We're going to need some more of that, Shea Groom. Oh, it was a bad touch by Perez. And then uh, Lasco was able to get it past uh, a couple more players. But good from Houston. We would like that to be in the back of the net. 
we'll see when you get your next opportunity based upon it being 17 minutes. Um, but great job. Well, Byron have four minutes to tie it. Or this is racing Louisville's cup to stay at home. You know what they say about the house. The house never loses. But, you know, this is football, so it may be a little different. But uh, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for their supporters. It's really great to win the trophy at your house, you know. it's. I mean, like, I'm not to say it's set up for Portland to win, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Good turn from Shea Groom. I love it. Love it. Nicole. Ooh. Almost. But I see what she was trying to do. But um, it's going to take some magic when you play Barca because they have a lot of magicians in the midfield. So it's going to take some magic. Some twinkle toes. Let's see it. Um, ooh. Man. Byron getting real close to getting a third goal scored on, scored on him. And of course, um, Houston do have a, some fresh legs when it comes to Prince, um, Mewis, Campbell, some fresh eyes. They got to experience Tokyo, you know. What's the score now? Okay, I think it, it says it's halftime now. Yeah, it's halftime with Kansas and Kansas and um, you got to be careful not to give Graham Hansen so much time to be able to whip it in. Make her make a decision a little quicker, but good work from Siler. I know this that position is tough, especially when you're facing a player that's been able to drop 16 assists on her teammates. She's very accurate, and you don't want to give her too much time to look at her look for her teammates. She'll find them. Period. All right, Houston, come on. Hey, ref. Hi, Nicholas. Welcome. I appreciate the hearts. I'll say hearts back. Hearts backs to you. <laughs> Right. Okay, we'll see how much stoppage time there is because Byron really got to step up, and they need, you know, they need, they need something. Oh my goodness, nine minutes of stoppage time. <laughs> nine minutes of stoppage time here. Oh my goodness, Jasmine Spencer, you are being so clutch right now, getting in front of those Barca shots. Thank you. <laughs> wow, Jane Campbell, again, the ball's in her hand, but that's... Good shot, too. It was on target. Patrick's been able to bang some goals in uh, for Barca um, last season. It was really cool, too, as we get to watch uh, Barca um, and how they will uh, handle their season. I think they'll do fine when it comes to uh, 
their league. Uh, but when it comes to Champions League, how, um, what players will learn more about, you know, what players can score as well. And they, I mean, they still, you know, they, they have uh, the Swedish striker, Rufio. She's someone I'm excited to see. And um, they signed uh, Indian from Wolfsburg. So someone I'm also excited to see. Um, so they got some new additions, Barcelona. Um, and I'm just really excited to see how they go about, especially um, in Champions League. Um, so I really hope, um, I mean, it's going to be a tougher season, I feel. Everyone made some moves. And so we're going to see. Nice, nice daily. Oh, daily. Daily. Really? Really? You, you go early daily? Is that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I like the audacity daily, but, you know, you could have held the ball up a little bit. But, um, and as you can see, you, she had the pace for uh, P Perez on Perez, so be looking out for that. The 1v1 matchups may, be, may help Houston, and uh, they got to make sure they can stay composed. Good, good. Good. Okay, so we have a player down. So, you know, more stoppage time minutes, including the nine minutes, will be added on. So, uh, yeah. And let me see if this game's back yet. Not yet, not yet. And also, when it comes to corners, um, <laughs> uh, we saw on the replay, uh, like, really, it might be come down to the 1v1 matchups. And um, and um, oh, good shot. But side, good shot, good shot from Barca, but still, Shea Groom has to make sure she doesn't lose anybody. She came right behind her. stoppage time oh my goodness Bruho? I think Bruho? well let's go let's go was this the own goal because we seen the ball going uh, in the cross oh it was an own goal Jimmer Bonner oh my goodness wow it's not what you want now Byron thinking they can get the equal the, the, the go ahead goal now. Mm, heartbreaking. All right. Nakasato's free. She got some space. Alkum and the Cascor for only two. Ah, the Cascor's header. Too much air. Wow. Barcelona have 74% possession. Well, you know how much we've been learning about the number 74 and their rituals? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but Barcelona have 74 percentage compared to Houston's 24%, which is, oh, my gosh, scary. Oh, clean tackle in the box. Clean tackle. Okay. 74 possession. Lord have mercy. That's crazy. 30 minutes in. But you're going to get, they, the ladies, it gets tiring. 
but you won't want to sit back too far. Let's see, let's see. Byron was looking for that third. Oh, nice save by Jane Campbell. She's going to be busy. Very creative. Patrick says, I'm going for a shot. Got to be careful. They can, they're can. they very good on target in every in every way. She one-handed that one, too. Nice block. Oh, so we're at the seven minutes of the nine minutes and stoppage time. Man, we thought we thought racing were gonna be able to lift the trophy. But it wasn't for them. Ooh, another good shot from Graham Hansen. Siler is gonna have a, a tough matchup with her as well. Very creative player, very creative for I think she's nominated for um UEFA Ford. Um Graham Hansen. And uh, I mean, I, I, I don't see why they couldn't give it to her as well. I mean, I know Mart Martans is in in the in the um, discussion and, and uh, I think it was Jenny. Um, but Graham Hansen, she she was. Uh, you know, you need those distributors, you need those people to pass you the ball, right? She, and um, She's nominated in that nice save again by Jane Campbell. Goodness. Goodness. Woo. Man, oh man. It's going to be a crazy 90 minutes for Houston. But I think they're up for it. I mean, uh, Daly's down. Um, oh, Daly was in front of, um, oh, Daly was in front of, uh, <laughs> Daly was in front of, uh, um, uh, Campbell. I thought Campbell saved it, but Daly saved it. Daly, we, you, you, Daly back there playing defender, striker, midfielder. Last match, she headed the ball off the clearance line. Now she's in front of Jane Campbell. Crazy. I think she's going to be okay. But, um, okay, so we're in the uh, 10 minutes of the nine minutes in stoppage time. And it's 2 2, Louisville and Byron. Um, guessing after this we get um, penalty kicks. <sighs> What a great game between these two teams, racing in and um, Bayern Munich.
Yo. <laughs> Yo, the Scooby, the Scooby TV <laughs> just tweeted some funny shit in the chat. Should night. <laughs> Should night. Oh fucking A. Oh my goodness. But yeah, you got your crystals and gems to make sure your frequency is protected from unwanted energies. I fuck with that though. Scooby TV. Oh fucking A. Okay, hold on. You can't be seeing the commercials. But it's gonna go to penalty kicks. Oh my goodness. Hopefully Racy can pull it out. Um that'd be great. Oh my goodness. Barca have scored. Who is this? Is this Caroline? No, this is um, Kronichevich. Excuse me if I butchered your name. But she got that post love. And it was coming. It was coming. But, Houston, uh, good good job. 30 minutes of solid defense and solid, you know, trying to get in front of Barca. Um, so... It was funny because she's not, I mean, she's not a player I would have expected to score. But sometimes it is those players that get that pocket of space. And like I said, she got that post love. <laughs> but good good strike from her. Um, Jane just kind of went the wrong way. I think she might have thought um, she was going for a cross. But good goal from Barca. Good goal. Ten minutes before halftime. Hopefully um, Houston can you know equalize just like racing did you know within the five minutes we'll see what they can do it's always great to see how your team you support bounces back as you know we watched the um five one defeat against all rain and it was pretty heartbreaking but um you live and you learn right i do feel houston will be able to get an opportunity Based, of, based upon what we've seen so far. So it's going to take, a, I think, an individual chance. I would like to see Prince get free, maybe 1v1, um, and test that back line of Barca. But you just got to get the ball from them, really, because they'll play right through you. Don't want to give them free kicks either. You had Portland scored a free kick goal against you. But we didn't have Jane Campbell in the sticks, though. Okay, let's see. The, the penalty. Nope, not yet, not yet. Still commercial. <laughs> Spencer behind, oh girl, Lord have mercy. Uh, I mean, not too many tall Barcelona players. Um, good job by the wall again, double. Good job. Just get the ball free. Kick it, kick it away. Um, Graham Hansen. Okay, so we got the first penalty taker, Nakasato. Let's see. Ooh, saved. It's not how racing want to start. Not at all. Damn. You would think she would be, she would put that in the back of the net. But at the keeper's range, she's a pretty um, tall keeper as well. Now she needs her goalkeeper to come up with the save as well. Let's see, let's see. Good goal, good goal. So it's 1-0 on the PKs. Byron are leading. Let's see, let's see.
good finish, good goal. Good goal, good goal from the goal scorer. Man, Barca are taking so many shots at Houston. It's crazy. I feel like every single shot they take is on target and could be in the back of the net. <laughs> oh, Byron have hit the post. They have a lifeline. Now it's all knotted up. All knotted up. There is still life in the racing. Let's see. McCaskill's next. Oh my goodness, this is like Houston's first time being in Barcelona's half in like forever, since the 17th minute, remember? And Sophie Smith gives the ball away like that. It's not good, Houston. No way to get back, Naughton. Good. Ooh, did. Okay, what did it say? That was a goal. Uh, yeah, okay. It because it, it didn't hit the net, but it crossed the line. So I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, what happened? <laughs> but good, good goal from uh, McCaskill. Everybody's back for it. Everyone's back defending for Houston, so it's very difficult uh, to get that counter um, when everyone's playing defense. So, but Christie has the ball. But I'm liking, um, you know, uh, all right, so it's 2-2, two, 2-2 two. Two, two on the PKs, 2-2, two, two. anybody's ball game, got to make your PKs. Oh, she hits the post, not good for racing. They need another goalkeeper stop. Ah. Had enough power, just too much hype. Let's see, Byron. Big save, big save by Racing's goalkeeper. What's her name? What's her name be? Ah, it's level. It's level again, 2-2. Two, two. Big save, much needed. Oh, my goodness. Houston, we're on a counter. All right, let's see. Well, it's even, Steven, as they say. Let's see, let's see. She missed it. Man, it's really tough, these PKs. Right. Not enough. Not enough pace on the ball. Oh, she hit the post. Looks like it. She hit the post. So I'm. I'm not too upset with you know. We're seeing miss. We're seeing missed and say penalties all around. Okay. <laughs> um. I think so far Barca have worn out Houston. Have worn out Houston. Let's go. Another save. Another PK save from Racing's goalkeeper. She keeps them in the game. What is her name? Let me get her name. Shit. I, um, 
she goes the right way. And Jane Campbell is getting worked out tonight. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was so close. Patrice goes just wide. All right. You got to score this? Who is this? Uh, nice goal. Let's go. And this is do or die. Do or die. You got to make it. If not, you lose. Or, yeah, you lose. All right, good pressure from Houston. Oh, just not quick enough. Just not quick enough. Got three or four midfielders or at least two always ready to poke at the ball. That's what you get when you got like a five midfield team. Um, someone's always there. Let's see. Let's see. Good finish. Good finish. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. The penalties are still even. So this is sudden death. Sudden death PKs. All right, Gemma Bonner, the girl that scored the own goal. Damn, no pressure. No pressure. Two minutes of stoppage time. Oh, she misses it. Jimmy Bonner missed it. Oh, my goodness. Can the goalkeeper do it three times? No, actually, she did it. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be tough. She hit the post, Jimmy Bonner. This is just not good for racing. Every time they gain momentum, they lose it. It's like, oh, my goodness. Your goalkeeper has been <laughs> giving you so many stops. This could win it for Bayern. Let's see. Oh, referee stopping the play. Referee stopping the play. Kind of jinxing her. Oh, oh she, she might jinx her. Let's see. Let's see. She needs all the luck. Oh, she saved it as well. Let's go. I think her last name is Lloyd. Let's go. Yo, y'all racing. Y'all goalkeeper legit. I fucks with her. Yo, the stalling worked. It worked very well. Damn, she did it. All right. It looks like Houston and Barca are going into halftime. And I'll get to watch the second half of them. But I'm really happy with Houston's performance so far. They are tired. Ooh, go. All right, racing. There you go. You got the goal. You got the goal. You just need one more stop. One more stop. One more stop. All right, that's halftime. Barcelona are leading 1-0 with a goal from um, Konochevic. Um, oof, good goal. Ooh, this, this, this is a really good penalty back and forth. But the goalkeeper, Loy, oh, my goodness. You have been superwoman for your team. And Houston. Keep your heads up. You still got another 45. Uh, beware of who comes off the bench. Lord have mercy. And Barca, I mean, goodness, what else to say? They probably have like 90% possession right now. <laughs> Continue to do you, Barca. Ooh, nice goal. Nice goal. Racing still in it. Racing still in it. All right. Back to Bayern. It was like. This trophy staying here. It's not going home to Germany. Oh my goodness. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, this is a uh, Lloyd. That's her name, Lloyd. 
last name. All right. Will she make it? Will she be saved? Let's see. Is the trophy staying here? Oof, no. She went early. <laughs> oh, back, back at racing. Man, this has been a great back and forth PK. I'm so happy that. I uh, hope I, I'm, I'm going to cross my fingers that this uploads on YouTube without any copyright. <laughs> Bye. Because it's been a great game, yeah? All right, racing. Ooh, nice finish. Aye. Let's go. Everyone stepping up for racing, getting those PKs in the back of the net. Nice. Goalkeeper went the wrong way as well. That's what you, I mean, as a, as a, as the striker, that's what you like to see. Ooh. Let the wrong way and it's in the back of the net. All right, let's see, let's see. Could this be the PK? Could this be the PK? Oh, and it continues. And it continues right back at racing. Oh my goodness! Right back at you, racing. There's like we we, we can you know, we can do this all day. Mm. Now it's the goalkeeper's turn. Oh my goodness! Goalkeeper versus goalkeeper. Oh wow! Nice finish. Hey. Your goalkeeper can strike penalties too. That's what I like. Okay, her last name is Loon. I thought it was Lloyd. My bad, girl. My bad. But I love the fire. I love it. Great, confident PK. All right, goalkeeper gets goalkeeper. I don't know. This goalkeeper hasn't been so passionate like the other one has. All right, let's see. But she she may be like, I'm I'm calm, cool, collected. Oh, it's saved. And racing are the Women's Cup champions. Wow. Congratulations, racing. Louisville, I'm very happy for you all. Bravo, brilliant. I mean, we got to see them. This PK battle was crazy. Um, great PKs, great saves, well-deserved for the ladies. I hope they party tonight drink smoke or probably can't smoke but drink i don't know who's sponsoring the the women's cup you know what i'm saying i don't know who's sponsoring that but um congratulations and you get to do it in front of your home crowd that's so dope you know what i'm saying yo loom she may not be here she may not be a uh, uh, uh in nwsl football next season I'm just saying, someone may be like, listen, look, this goalkeeper, <clears throat> this goalkeeper right here, we're going to have to splash the cash on her. We're going to have to splash the cash on her. She made, what, four or five saves? And Racing Louisville FC are the Women's Cup Champions inaugural winners. So congratulations to Racing Louisville FC once again for getting it done, beating the German champions, Bayern Munich. What a great game from both teams. You know what I'm saying? What a great game. Wow. Now, we got the pictures. You're a star now. A star was born tonight. She's telling you, man, how many, how many did you save? They <laughs> said, this is some tit stuff. Right, it was crazy. Oh my goodness. Let me see her first name, because I'm not familiar with her. Jim Ramon is like, thank you so much. <laughs> 
Yo, everybody gonna parlay tonight. They have they're gonna have whole the whole racing FC. They're gonna have the whole town of Kentucky lit in purple. They're gonna be lit. As they should. We're gonna be lit with them too. I'm lit for them. Fucking A. <laughs> I was saying I'm lit for y'all, ladies. Yo, damn, if this game was really good, just imagine Portland. Oh, my goodness. This is just the first final we got to watch tonight. Uh, what's her name? So, Racing Louisville. Racing. FC. Okay, Katie. Her name is Katie Lou, and she's six one. I was like, she's tall. Um, and it looks like she's a Sagittarius. Oh yeah, she's a Sagittarius. That's why she got that fire. She got that fire. Congratulations. Barca, they're just showing highlights of the game, so we're just going to wait and see how long they have it till they get to lift the trophy. She made her PK, Katie, and she saved her opponent's PK. Hey, I don't know what type of celebration that was, but, you know, hey, sometimes in the moment you really don't know what to do. But Superman, that hoe. <laughs> I'm super woman now. Hey, all smiles and racing. <laughs> hey, Nadia the Dom is a champion again. All the champions are on. Oh, oh, oh. Let me, I guess they'll come back and we'll hit us with the um uh people. Oh, let me see. Let me see what's going on with Kansas. People are saying. Houston can't get a kick against Barca. Yeah, the, when I looked at the um, the stats, it's 75% Barca, 25% Houston, 400-plus passes for Barca, and I don't even know if Houston got 100. It's But Houston, listen, we hold it down in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? We hold it down in this bitch against the fucking Champions League champions, okay? Um, North Carolina Courage. That's what I was supposed to do. Okay, so North Carolina are leading 3-0. Amy Rodriguez, the, the signee that got swapped for uh, Christy Hamilton, is putting goals in the back of the net for North Carolina. 64th minute. It's good for her. Um... I guess let me uh, warm up my tea again or drink some more tea. And we'll see if we, oh shit. Okay, that's what I was like. I'm waiting for the trophy celebration. Okay, I don't know what that boy's saying, but congratulations to Racing Louisville FC for winning the inaugural what the inaugural women's cup, uh, women's cup. Yes, because it has cup in it. Congratulations, you you made your city proud. You did your city proud. We are so happy for you. Um. The crowd rocked it. You had about 7K plus people there. Um, I'm guessing this is for the MVP of the MVP of the tournament. That's what I'm assuming. This is this award goes to the MVP of the the, the tournament in the women's cup. Um, um okay, the goalkeepers. 
it's shared. It's a shared trophy. Oh, forgot because Beto's she did solid as well. It's really nice for racing to have your backup goalkeeper be a one. Okay, she may get a new contract someone else, but good job, ladies. We're happy for y'all. She's like here, Beto's like you deserve it. Oh, Beto's is a number one. She's like I got the number. One. Oh, she's like no, no, you keep it. Oh, oh, nice. She it. She's like. I don't know. Would you keep the trophy? I'd keep the trophy. I, if, if, if you didn't want it, oh, you want me to keep it? Oh, okay. All right. Hey, hey, I gave it to you first time. Will you give it back? All right. I'll keep it. I ain't telling you to give it back to me. What you want? Nah, play it. But anyways, it's a team effort, right? Right? Unity. But that shit coming home with me, if, if it can. Um, but yeah, shout out to racing. Let's see what they got. What, what, what's going on here also? Also, so, we, so also, uh, this was a great tournament. Oh, okay, so uh, Houston have 147 passes and Barca have 428 passes. Houston have six saves. Barca have zero. Goodness. 13 shots to two shots. Really? Lord? Oh, yeah, I guess daily shot and I forgot somebody else's. But you know what, Houston? You would like a Barcelona to be 13-1 and one in front of your goalkeeper. With six saves, huh? You save six out of their fucking... 13 shots that were on target. That's what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> also, that trophy is very interesting looking. Um, it's not shaped like a cup, but it has a W on it, like for winners. And they're the first ones ever to lift this trophy. One, two, three. Wait, everybody wasn't there though. Or the confetti, smoke. Where's the? Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, that was. That, look, look how small the little thing is. It's like y'all couldn't get anything bigger. Come on now, come on, racing. All right now. All right, we got the smoke. Let's go. All right, there's the confetti. They're gonna do this again one more time. Can y'all move? Like, yeah, can y'all move the stuff? Like, let's, let's, let's get out the way. Move the things. Let's make it prop. Oh, my goodness. The cameraman. Cameraman, where are you at? Cameraman, the ladies are not that tall. Okay, so what's going on? Lord have mercy. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's it. That's the game. Racing Louisville have won it. And it's perfect timing because Barcelona and Houston are about to kick off the second half. Hopefully I don't have, um, you know, panic. I think I'll be all right. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be fine. Well, Houston, I would like y'all to be able to get a shot on goal. But anyways, y'all, I'm ending this, this recording here, and I'll be right back in the Discord uh, with the, the second half of Barca, okay? This is... <laughs> all right, let me exit. Oh, Lord, let me see. They bring in on sales, Barca. I'll be right back, right back on the Discord. I'll be right back. Um, I got to bring up this game. Oh, my gosh. Barca, you don't have to bring your subs on. You don't have to do that, Barca. Especially Puteas, you don't have to bring her on. You know, just let her rest. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't have to. They're already leading. 3 0. I mean, one. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to manifest them goals. Oh, shit. And y'all trying to bring on Shawala. Hey, yo, yo, Barca, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What are y'all talking about? What, what are y'all trying to do over here? Let me get on to ESPN real quick.
it's going to be a 45 to live for, of course, for Houston. All right. Hey, hey, you're already tripping our players. What's up with that? Um, let me share this screen real quick. Um, see something real quick yeah we can put that over there all right Okay. We back. Oh, 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 come on. Oh my goodness, Houston have scored. Hey, go. Let's go, Houston. Hey, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, Houston. What? That's what I'm talking about. I didn't even get to see who scored. I didn't see the lady celebrating. What's going on? What happened? Katie Notton? Hey! Oh, it was an own goal. Hey! Yeah, own goal. We'll take it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Houston, we've done it. We've scored against Barcelona. I mean, y'all scored against Barcelona, but not technically y'all scored. It was an own goal. But anyways, make sure. I'm trying to see who else. Did he bring on any subs or it's still the same team? I'm just trying to see. Looks the same um, for for Randy. But Barca have brought on Oshuala, Uteas. Um, I think that was Marta. So, goodness. And let me see. Um, okay, so there's been a red card issued in the North Carolina match. North Carolina's down to 10 players. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's crazy. And um, we still have... To actually, two matches. Oh, Rain are playing uh, Gotham, New Gotham, and then Portland are taking on Leon, which I'm super pumped for. And super happy Houston got the equalizer. So, if I can just turn this off now since. Have it on my mobile. Turn that off. All right, Houston. Let's see what y'all can do. Can y'all get us for another chance like I just did again? Good run from Shea Groom. And I believe that's, I think he subbed. I'm trying to think. I think that's a new strike, striker up there. Don't quote me. Okay. 
So you see Houston are dropping back, allowing Barca to pass. And, you know, I mean, you can only do what, what you have. And they're probably beat, tired. 75 position. It's like you, for the 45 minutes, you were chasing Barca 75% of the time. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, a, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's like more than half. That's like three fourths. And that's what Barca do. But somehow, some way, Houston are sitting pretty with the with the one one score line. And it's exactly what they needed in the second half. Okay, so it was a Fernandez 48th minute own goal. Hey, we'll take it. Most times the best teams don't get scored on, they score on themselves, which is ironic, right? <laughs> like Chelsea, their first goal against Barca's first goal against Chelsea was an own goal, right? And that's what like started the whole fucking it was like in the first or second minute, and that killed Chelsea. Literally. It killed them. If it wasn't an own goal in the first minute of the Champions League final, it would have been a different story. But unfortunately. It didn't work out that way. Yeah. She could have just let it go, but I understand she was trying to clear it. It's okay, hun. I've seen Houston put in two back-to-back -back home goals. It's And I didn't even get to see it. It was actually a blackout. You remember that? It was kind of shady. Hey, hey. 3v1 versus Shea Groom. Shea Groom going to tackle back. Hey. Referee ain't calling nothing. Caroline's like, I just stood there, yo. <clears throat> Welcome to. All right, Houston. I got to talk my mess. So, yo, what if you, Houston and Barca go to penalties? Goodness gracious. Just keep a Barca, keep Barca away from your goal. Yeah, he did bring in some subs. I don't think that's, um, yeah, let's see who he brought in, because I'm trying to look on the field. Sophie Smith. Uh, okay, so he brought in Emily Ogle. Okay, he brought in midfield Michelle. Uh, uh, um, and so, yeah. So he brought in Ogle, and he brought in Michelle. So he brought in a midfield and a winger for Prince and um, Mewis. And uh, so far, so good, ladies. Um, U.S. wasn't getting any time on the ball to be able to um, I think I think Yana was a substitute as well maybe not and the has been let me shut up but, but she's been very quiet <laughs> uh, she's been very quiet and as well as uh, Mariona it's mainly been um, Patri and um, and Graham Hansen. And then the goal was from Konochevich. But, um, you know, that's okay. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 hey, hey, don't give oh, Oshawala in the box. Um. I'm speaking of Antiana, there she is. And if you're Houston, um, you just got to follow the ball, right? And they move it so fast. They rock you to sleep. That challenge, uh, the that 1v1 matchup, Groom versus Patry, I don't know about that. Do you see how... Bigger she is, 
of groom? I'm just saying. Oh, 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 oh. Sophie Smith, you can't be going in for tackles against this player. And she slipped and she tapped. <laughs> yeah, you can't be you can't be going in for tackles like that, hon. You gotta especially number eleven. Especially that one. You got you got you got both the Aquariuses looking to fucking target the Aquarius goalkeeper. Thank goodness Jane's an Aquarius. Goodness. She's probably got telekinesis. Okay, good, 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 cool. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's oh oh that's why it's really good to have aqua aqua aquariuses on your team. Because I mean, why not? Um, but Aquarius is um, you know the knowing, right? But also is the networker. So they be pulling the strings. And Graham Hansen, number seven, is an Aquarius. And as you can see, she was dictating uh, the the match uh, heavily. Uh, and, and now they brought in another Aquarius, uh, Puteas. Uh, so, ooh, ooh. Oh, damn. Yo, you had to, damn, she had to kick the ball, yo. I don't know what happened. She was stumbling. <laughs> oh shit, she was stumbling. Good shit, Rachel. Um, Rachel got fired. Rachel's always gonna be yelling, and we need that. Hey, hey, they trying to catch us off balance. Hey, hey, all ball ref. Let's see, was it a corner? Let me know what, what, what's going on. She got long hair. It was a free kick. Goodness gracious! Stop giving Barca free kicks. Sounds like Elena Deladon likely to return Sunday. We were just talking about Deladon a couple days ago. <clears throat> oh shit, here we go again. Barca's trying to aim up and fucking trying to score in Houston's net again. <sighs> Houston. Ooh, okay, good shit. I don't know who went, who I don't know who laid out for that. I think that was um, Sophie Smith. <laughs> Yo, Rachel, like, I'm going to take on Graham Hansen myself, too. Damn. You got your striker defending. Good clearance, good clearance, ladies, good clearance. And also, I like that Katie Notton is an Aquarius as well. <clears throat> so, you know, oh my goodness. Oh, someone scored over here in North Carolina and Kansas. And that game was like 10 minutes left. Oh, nice ball in. Good slide tackle from, from, I think that was Siler. Oh my goodness. Good slide tackle. Yo. That was a, like a, that was a good. Oh, Speck has scored for North Carolina Courage. And they're playing with 10 ladies at the moment, so. Excuse me. It's like anybody want to tee up and you know shoot from outside the box. Barca has so many options. Must be must be nice. Must be nice, Barca. Must be, must be nice. Hey! Oh my goodness! Good save, Jane.
but Houston have plenty of midfielders to come in to rest legs, which is really good as well. Um, so, you know, and they, I, I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not, I, I would like to see Stevens too. I'd like to see what she brings too, because she's a creative player. I feel like she can, you know, maybe get some pockets of space and help City, and help City, help Houston, uh, you know, see what they can create. You know, maybe those spark chances. All right. So is that the end of the game over there? Jeez, 17 shots for Barca, three for Houston. Let's see, Houston. You need to, ooh, nice. That touch from Daly, I don't know, might have let her down. But let's see how long Houston can hold on to the ball. Ref, was that not foul? All right, ball in the box. Shea Groom, hey, yes, go. Let's go, Shea Groom. A typical celebration as well. Damn. Let's go, Houston. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Houston holding it down, this bitch. We holding it down for Houston. All the way out in Portland. Jasmine Spencer with the cross. Shea Groom said, I can believe I can fly. Ooh. Hey. It just takes one in a million. One in a million. Oh, go. Oh. Now Barca just have to tie it, but still. Go, oh, Houston. Let's go. Let me just tweet. Let's go, Houston. Uh. You know. <laughs> Damn, Shane Grew, third goal in, in the cup. I mean, now, remember. Remember who we're playing now. You know, we got to make sure you stay alert, stay active, because it's going to be another long 27 minutes. Can Houston hold out? Oh, my goodness. It's going to be really tough. Really tough. Did you see how tough it was for Leon to do it? And they scored in like an 85th minute. You know what I'm saying? After Barca equalized. So, you know, you just got to be careful. It'd be nice if Houston can score another because now Barca are going to go all out. I mean, even more all out than they already are going all out, which is very great because, I mean, they have to now, right? You got to equalize and then you got to try to win, right? Houston, you know, they can like, all right, listen. All right, listen. But, uh, oh my goodness. I'm going to see. Oh, hey, okay. The ref's calling the fouls now. Okay, okay. like it. I like it. All right. Houston, oh, yeah. Oil Rain versus Gotham at nine. I think. Because um, this game is going to end about. I think. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I think they start at the same time. Oil Rain, Gotham, and Leon, and, and Portland start at the same time. I think at nine. So we got like like a fifteen minute break or something like that. Maybe not. Maybe not fifteen. Cause it's like twenty seven. Maybe like a thirty minute break. And I'm feeling pretty good. Well, of course, it's Houston's leading. You know, that's always a great feeling. Um, tell everybody peace out. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what Barca does. Ooh, I see what she's trying to do. Houston getting a little bit more possession. That's what I like to see. Houston, show them what you're working with. Jasmine Spencer with the assist. Should the goalkeeper have done better? Would Panos have saved that? I don't know. I don't care. It's in the back of the net. Oh my goodness. Man, 
now Siler has to be careful because Oshawala, she's a great player as well. Um, Cause I'm trying to think who she came in for, but she can score goals too. Uh, what? Y'all playing? Now they try. Oh my! Y'all play. Y'all see the Shikari Richardson stuff right there at the bottom? Oh, you can't see it, but man, this man, y'all. Uh, double. Yeah, y'all got a double team, Graham Hansen or something. Oh wow, what that that shot was surprising, but um, I'll take it. Okay, Michelle's coming in for Lasco. Okay. Lasco, thank you for all you've done this match. Done really, really well, Veronica. And she's held that 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 striker position down the best play, the best way she's could since Daly's been gone. And for that, fuck you. It was a tough match for her, for sure. Okay, okay, Houston, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see what she's trying to do. Oh, uh, hey, they brought in Martins. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, Oshawala's free. Oh, bad touch though, bad touch. Yo, they brought in Martins. Look, stop, Barca, stop it. Stop, stop. Y'all have to sub these players in. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Y'all playing y'all strongest lineup now? Huh? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? What y'all doing, Barca? Nah, I'm playing. Um, goodness, Oshawala could have had scored that goal too, equalized it. No, y'all got to be careful. Martins, I think Martins scored two goals in the semifinals of the Champions League. Um, and but you know we got to see her uh, in for the Dutch, you know, and I think Martins is nominated for best forward as well in the UEFA. So we'll see how that works out. But a lot of the trophies are going home to Barca, um, as they should. They they they've done, they've had a great season. Uh, y'all, yo, 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 y'all keep giving, no, come on now, y'all don't give her, there you go, follow her, yep, yep, follow, yep. Just smoothly running on top of Houston's, uh, uh, what do you call it, penalty box, just smoothly. Um, let's see. And let your uh okay ogle one v one i feel it i feel it so far hey was she off sides or no these one v one these one v one matchups are gonna be uh highlighted which i'm excited to see at least in these last 20 minutes because they got these superstars out there real shit. And so do we. So is Houston. So is Houston. Houston had their superstars out there. <clears throat> Ooh, clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it. Oh my goodness. A penalty. What happened? Oh my goodness. Referee. I know it's Puteas, but what happened? Did you get a real, did you get, I need a replay. In, in Houston. Oh, that was close. Oh, yeah, she came in late. Way late. It looked like it. From the first angle, it, it, she came in late. All right, Jane Campbell, number 11 against number one, Aquarius against Aquarius. Jane Campbell, can you freeze out? 
can you freeze out probably the player of the year? She gonna give her yellow card? <laughs> Come on, Jay. Don't, 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 don't get, don't get a yellow card and get scored on. Okay, that's not, that's not classy. But I think she's trying to psych each other out. Let's see, let's see. Um. All right, we need a super save, Jane. Let's see. We think she'll go right or left. Uh, I think she's gonna go left. Jane, I think she's gonna go left, Jane. Jane, I think she's gonna go left. She went right. God damn it. But it's 2 2. It's 2 2. So it's not like they're losing. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they're losing. Hey, but Jane did the Jane did listen to me. She did go left. I mean, like she Jane went left, but Alexa didn't go left. But but now it's 2-2 Houston. Can you hold it for another 20? Is it possible? You can't have any sloppy mistakes, Houston. You know, he gave Barca an easy goal or penalty. Eh. You rather them I rather them score it, but you know, whatever. See, can you earn yourself a penalty as well? Um, that pass has to be really careful, and and she, and Smith has to make sure that she's meeting the ball. Cause that little one, she's fast. I think that's Bruma, Bruna, Bruna. She's fast. They're fast. Fast player. All right. So, okay, we got a little free kick. Got a little free kick. Got a free kick. <laughs> I like it, but just a little bit too much in the air. A little bit too much in the air. And I don't, th oh yeah, they do need a third place winner, right? Yeah, they do need a third place winner. I don't think anybody expected this scoreline. 2-2, Houston, Barcelona at the 75th minute. No one expected this scoreline. I'm so happy for Houston. The game's not over, though. You got to hold it down for another 15 minutes. She has too much space on top of the box, yo. Good clearance. Gee, good block. That daily again. Daily. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Daily. You've been everywhere, all over the pitch today, Daily. You've been doing the you've been doing the solid. Happy to have you back. You know, I feel like I, we gotta go for them aerial challenges. Go for them aerial challenges. You know, shield her off. You know, fuck. Martans versus Spencer. Oh. Oh my goodness.
<laughs> he was asking Sophie, Sophie, you good or not? Nah? She's like, uh, oh, Sophie, that's not an answer. She's a cancer. She's probably like, no, I can, I can go. She's been solid though, besides giving up the free kicks, but they haven't punished us. They haven't punished Houston yet. I don't give them too many opportunities. 20 shots? Jeez. Okay, okay. Hold it up. You got to be able to hold up the ball. Oh, hey, ref. She didn't even go for the ball. Man. Hey, someone stop with Tails. Got Martans is free. Good, good from Spencer. Sophie, look up, look up, Sophie, behind you. Nice hold up play. Hey, oh my goodness. Ref ain't calling nothing right now. Yo, we need a replay of these fouls, these tackles. Oh, be careful, don't run into each other. Daly's calling for it. Ah, nice stretch though, Daly. All right, reshape, reshape, Houston, reshape. Don't get don't get stretched out, Houston. Yeah, she overtouched that. Damn, but how does Barca always have players just ready to freaking hit the ball? Fucking A. And of course, Mateus would score a goal like that. <laughs> Good finish for her. Player of the year right there. But yeah, I mean, fuck Houston. It's not what we. It's not what we wanted to see. Uh, not, a lot of the Portland fans are like, uh, "Nah, that was a good goal. That was a good goal." But you just can't give a player like her that much that much time, and she's right in front of the goal, like literally, like you can hit it however you want it. Good finish. <sighs> well, Houston, can y'all score? Can y'all score an equalizer? I think y'all will be able to get a shot. I think y'all will be able to score. It's got 13 minutes left. And it's been a great game. But I think Houston's going to be able to score to equalize, and that'd be fantastic. You just, um, you just gotta be able to, Graham Hansen. Oh, that's uh, my bad. Not Graham Hansen. That's uh, Martins. And hopefully, Houston, uh, you got 10 minutes left. Put in a solid 10. I would like a daily goal. She deserves it. But, um, okay, Shay Groom, I see y'all. Oh, the goalkeeper came up. Oh, damn. Close, close. Keep going, Houston. That's what I like. That's 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 what we like. That's what we like. Better, better. Clarkson, we may need to make some subs, fam. Oh, oh. Look like at that. We got ten, 10 minutes left. And we got one more game. Ten minutes left, and we got one more match. I finally, I finally settled. I mean, after three hours, yeah. <clears throat> uh oh, who's down? Who is that? Ogle? Damn, she was the sub too. crying. Ooh. 
it didn't look like damn she she's calling for it never like injuries never do especially when they're your team but we got some subs looks like it it's not what you want but god houston had some momentum and oval you know she was playing really good she may come off the um let me see The ebbs and flows of this game. Man, Barca had 20, has had 22 shots, 11 on target. Let me see. Well, she's up on her feet. That's a good sign. And the match resumes. So I don't really be the. I don't. We don't. We don't. We would. I would not like like you know some stop like too much stoppage time. But I think um. Excuse me. Barca, I have no problem just you know taking their time now. They feel like they secured the bag. Nah, it's gonna be a little harder than that. Damn, Ogo, be careful, hon. We don't need you hurting yourself. For sure. to play keep away come on Houston now you gotta chase after the ball for the last six minutes try to get a opportunity just one that's all you need one just one just one all out for six more minutes can you do it just one more chance to get a shot on target We still got, well, I don't know, the subs didn't come on. Looking for Oshawala over the top. Spencer, she's had a good game as well. Good block. She's she's making that that right back position. Really, really good for Houston. She's working that position really, really well. All right. What's going on with my music? Okay. Hey. Right. Mm. Yeah. 
Houston. Oh, oh, cool. you should have passed it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, so close, so close. That could have been the equalizer, Michaela, but it's okay. I love it. That was hey, that was we can we get one more, one more of those? One more, just one more, almost. Just one more of those. That was very close. And goalkeeper, she came all the way out too. Ah, so close, so close. Everybody's heart was like, no, so close. Man, that was close. That could have been the equalizer for Houston. Uh, can they get one more opportunity like that? One more. Catch a bar to slip it one more time. Honestly, if the Spanish league had just um, a little bit more competitive teams, um, the games in Spain would be very good, right? Oh, who got hurt? You got to get up because Barca don't stop playing. Okay, so yeah, uh, Leon and Portland play uh, at nine. Hey, hey, oh, oh, Shalala's. Three in the freaking box, Jesus. And you see everybody kind of just, oh, Ogle. Ogle's down again. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to come off the pitch, huh? We can't risk you getting hurt anymore. She's crying. That's sad. I mean, it's like, um... So Christine Nair, remember, I mean, I'm not, Christine Nair is not in her prime, of course, but she used to be able to hit those bangers from the midfield, right? We could use one of those, Christine, maybe a free kick goal, something like that. Uh, probably got like maybe four minutes to stop this time. Yo, where, where, I was like, where's the, um, there was only one, Houston, this is all, maybe, I don't know, they probably, oh, fuck it, fuck that shit, never mind. I don't want to talk about it. Speedy recovery to Oval. I'm happy she's able to walk off because that's a great sign. Nothing's broken, right? It's probably just sprang a little twisted. Then again, I never ran for 45 minutes when it came to something like this. Soccer. Football. All right, how much stoppage time we have, bro? All right, four. Houston, you just need one opportunity. Barca are going to keep it in the corner flag. Just one opportunity, Houston. That's all you need. Let's see if you yeah. can just, just one. Oh, shit. She was wide open by herself. Damn. If only she... All right. We have three minutes left. Just, just one opportunity is all you need, Houston. Just one. This 
this has been a great game. Great game. And so was the uh, so was the Byron and um, and Racy Louisville game. And hopefully the third game is going to be even more of a treat. Watch this get jealous. Hey, fucking wrong. One and a half minute. Honestly, this performance from Houston has impressed me so much. Houston has so much fight in them. I'm so happy to be a Houston Dash supporter. One minute left, Houston. Almost. That was almost an opportunity right there. Nice, Spencer. Coming through clutch. Ah. 15 seconds. Ah, there ain't nobody out. Nah, nobody, nobody was. All right. Oh. Ah, almost, almost. That's it. Good game. Oh, oh, oh I thought the ref called it. Maybe not. We got like a couple more seconds left. Do we, do we, do we got a minute left or no? Do we, do we get one more minute? Rachel drew a foul. Okay, Rachel. One more set piece. One more magic touch, Houston. Okay, Rachel. Can that be the goal? Can that be it? Can, can, can y'all swing in a free kick? We're looking for everybody. Oyster, this got to be the a game tying assist, maybe. Ah. All right. That's game. Ah. Ah. Good game from the ladies. Good game from both teams. All right, I'll be right back. All right. All right, cool, cool. So we got like 30 minutes till. Um, let me see what's going on over here as well. 30 minutes till Gotham and then. I think it's going to be on uh, what was it, ESPN, ESPN2 or something like that. Let me set that up. 
Let me set that up real quick. But yeah, thanks. We've been going, going strong. Dealing well, sits in as their household. Oh, shit. Well, let me see. I haven't got the notification yet for Leon and Portland's lineup yet. That's going to be the conclusion. No, well, I mean, actually, there's two games going on at the same time. Uh, with When it comes to Gotham, and um, who the fuck's Gotham playing? Gotham's playing. Um, oh, Gotham's playing Old Rain. I mean, honestly, I'll take I'll take a draw because Old Rain are like in Houston are like one point differential. So I, Old Rain can't be getting the way because Gotham's already ahead. So. I'll take a draw from them. I really can't have any team grabbing three points. But if, if it would be fine if Rain, I mean, if Gotham got the three points. But, I mean, I guess that would be better, right? If Gotham got the three points. So let me, let me look. Let me, I'll be right back. And then we're, I'm going to come back and we're going to look at the NWSL standings based upon what's gone on so far. So I'll be right back. Y'all, y'all chill out, y'all chill out. We still, we still got one more match, and we still got a good 30 to the to the second half. And to the second half. So that game kicks off. So hold up. Bear with you, girl. Where we at? Where we at?
Hey everyone, I'm back. Hope y'all, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> One more match, ladies and gentlemen. One more match tonight. Um, let me see. Let me go on Twitter. Let's see, check out any of these lineups. I gotta wait for uh the stream to start. It always starts like right at right at nine o'clock. I'm like, come on now, like Paramount already be live. Excuse me. This game was like any other games we watched today. Um, it's gonna be pretty crazy. So we're still I'm still waiting for um, the stream to start, and then I'll hop back into the Discord in a minute. They got they got nine minutes. Let me, let me go on Twitter. All right. Okay. Okay. Let me share the screen with y'all. This is this is Portland's lineup. Bella Bixby, Natalia. I think she scored the last time we seen. Emily, Becky Sauerbrunn is back. Um, Megan Klingberg, Angela Salem, Rocky Rodriguez, Olivia starting, Marissa, Madison, Sophia Smith. On the bench, we got Horan Sinclair Dunn. So that'll be exciting to see those ladies. Is that Moreau was being hmm. it happens. Google. And where is um let's see what all rain all rain to Olympic Leon Leon Dean Bro yo their fucking lineup is dope. Broom, Mallard, Vandadon, Casicario. Marjorie, Henri, Cayman, Sylvia, uh, Renard, Moreno, and Endler. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. It says, um, oh, the meeting can be followed live on YouTube channel. So they, they, they what's this YouTube channel? Very interesting. What makes them so special? They could stream these games, huh? Huh? What makes y'all so special? I don't follow none of this stuff. So why can't you stream the match on your channel and I can't stream the match on my channel? I'll get copyright strike. Assholes. Anyways, uh, it's because I'm too real for TV. I'm too real for TV. 
Thank goodness. I would not want to. Too real for TV. We're too real for TV. That's why they can't really put us on TV because we're too real. And we'll tell you to wake up. We'll tell you. We'll tell you the shit that you need to hear, right? Instead of sugarcoating shit. Um, Gaza. Gaza na. But what we can do, what we can do is try to put the, uh, the, their, their chat in our live stream to see what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's what we could do. See what we can see. Infiltrate them. Infiltrate from the outside. Uh, what the fuck? Like, I don't understand. Is it? Do I have to be? Um, I'm not trying to do boxing. I'm trying to do, let me see, channels. Hold on, this is not it. This is this is not it. They got two uh two million. This isn't it. Let me go back. We got seven, we got three minutes left. Um oh oh well. Oh, let's go back to Portland. That's how we did it. Portland, go back to Portland. And then and then and then okay, Olympic Leon. Okay. And then it says, all right, right here on YouTube, it says the meeting can be followed live on YouTube channel of this. Okay, so we're going to try. This better be, it better be not like, uh, oh, you can only view it in a certain location because that's going to be trash. Right? That's trash. So far, I'm only seeing boxing. Hmm. Let's see. I guess I should put football or something. Okay, so they got Canada. So Dan's is like a new, what is it? Like a new, uh, okay, so they got boxing. I'm just trying to figure out what other channels they got. Uh, so is it Dance of freaking France? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to subscribe to, well, I'm going to subscribe to like Canada and boxing and see which one goes live first. Because... Oh, okay, I got it. Here it is. It's it's this. Okay. Let me share with y'all. Let me share. Okay, so this is the channel. They get to uh um they get to stream football matches on their YouTube channel. But I get copyright strikes if I stream mine. If I stream mine. Danza UEFA Women's Champions League. Look, Danza YouTube announced landmark global deal. Look, so y'all, y'all, y'all in cahoots. Y'all in cahoots with YouTube. And remember, I don't really know who these people are. So we're gonna subscribe. And whenever it goes live, we're gonna pop out that chat. We're gonna see uh, see what these people are talking about. That's what I'm saying. But I'm not too sure if it. I think it's just this one. I think it's this one. But we'll see. They got about. All right, it's nine o'clock. All right. It's nine o'clock. We'll refresh. We'll, we'll we'll see when they go live. 
and we'll go check. But let me get um. All right, let me get over here. Portland and Olympic Leon should be should be getting started here. Already nine oh one. Live now. All right, here it is. ESPN two. So um, that's what they should. Well, that's if you're in France. Uh, I think I guess it's if you're in France. But um, what's the point of having a global deal if not everyone can see it globally? You see how that reverse psychology is. It's, it's, it's not global if it's for geo blocked. By the way, come on now, I've already pressed play. Thank you. All right, they're showing highlights of the Barca and O-Rain gate, O-Rain, Barca in the Olympic Lyon match. That was a good match, as we know. Okay, cool, cool. Come on, we go cheat, go cheat. Nice. All right. Okie dokie, we're in the Discord. I'm in the Discord. All is good. So if you would like to watch the match with me, we're on the Discord. And I subscribe to the other YouTube channels. And also Oil Rain and um, also Oil Rain and um, Gotham are playing as well. Seems all the stars are back, all the Olympians are home at their respected clubs. And so Oil Rain and Gotham are gonna be playing on Twitch four. I mean end of itself four. All right. Okay, so I'm still, I'm just, I'm gonna keep searching. I'm gonna stay on, I'm gonna keep searching. I'm gonna wait for, well, I already got the game, but I'm still waiting for all rain to, fuck me, I keep saying all rain. Olympic Leon. For whatever channel they're going on YouTube to go live. Because just because we, if we can't watch the game with them, doesn't mean we can't chat, right? Just like in Twitch, right? It should be like that. We'll see, though. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how easy they make it for us. I'm not in France, though. I'm in, I'm in America. Um. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Let's see. Come on. Refresh. It should be live. 33 minutes. Let me see what anybody's saying as well. When it comes to, damn, I can't translate that. What does that mean? Link stream, please. Okay. It just says the meeting will be can be followed live on the YouTube channel of Dance Group, right? Doesn't mean it just puts at that. And it's not like okay, so it says um you can download on your phone. Okay, here it is. Okay, he says Dan's secured exclusive rights to next week's okay, yeah, yeah, I'm on the 
the tournament will be live, will be streamed live on Dan's on our new WWCL YouTube channel, making the first live competition, mark, marking the first live competition on the channel. Like, what the fuck? That's shit. That's what I do. So, so just because y'all got big tech to support you, y'all don't get all the love. And then let's see, we're just going to see what this shit says. Excuse me. We're going to see what it says. All right. So it says the uh, 2021, 2021 Women's International Championship Cup broadcast info. How to watch. The WIC will be available live and on demand with English language commentary as well as French and Spanish commentary for those respective matchups. Supporters can tune into Dan's and Dan's YouTube channel in more than 120 markets across Europe, North America, Asia. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it has a lot of places you can watch it. That's great. But... I'm still waiting for y'all to go live. Y'all slip it. We don't need, we don't want to sign in. We don't, we just want y'all say y'all on YouTube. She it has no event scheduled today. Well, I already got the game on, so that's no problem. But. I'm, we're still we're still waiting for them to like tweet that it's like live or something. Let me see. Let me see what people are saying. Why, oh shit! It's not available in Brazil. Why not Brazil? Brazil. Everybody's like Brazil. Brazil. Wow. So Brazil doesn't even have access to this app. What happened, Brazil? Like what was what? How no, and. People in South Africa can watch it. El Salvador. How y'all have it in some countries and don't have it in others? If y'all are global, trash. I hate that stuff. I hate that they were. I hate that. Excuse me. Let me stop saying that shit. But I don't like it how they restrict us from connecting with each other. Just to watch a football game, yo. All right, so we're still waiting. We're still waiting for this this thing to go live. So let me just Google uh, Portland Thorns. Okay, we got another streamer that's streaming. <laughs> Yo, shout out to her. She's got a lot of people viewing her. Her channel is Match Day Woman. We like it. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, okay, she speaks Spanish. Nice. And she put and she put the links. She puts the links as well on her channel. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, and she covers, and she covers uh, um, um, the Mexican league as well. It looks like it. Nice. We already went over the lineups. Okay, let's go. Okay, there's some more people watching.
Damn, Samuel, Samuel Reyes. He's covering some some football as well. And Little League, that's what's up. Find see what you find people that do the same thing as you, you know what I'm saying? You got support. <laughs> hey. Hey, and I guess it's just if you like their vibe or not, you know what I'm saying? It's all about, um, you know what I'm saying? Your vibe attracts your tribe. We're all attracting our tribe, yeah? Um, I'm still waiting for them to go live on their YouTube channel. I thought I subscribed to all three. They haven't hit me with the note yet that they're live. But the game is off. We 30 second, 30, 40 seconds in. Let me let me not let me not cry though. Okay, so Portland, of course, are in the the black, and Leon are in the white. Corner kick off bat. <clears throat> okay, also Yeah, so, so far, like, in the game, there's at the football, which is great. At the football now has uh, the French, at the football has French, uh, English, a little bit English, uh, Spain, and Germany matches. There's this website called, ooh, that was close. Millard almost scored a goal. Um Uh, I like that. Bro, that's so sick. Yo, those things that are like the, the circle track. Man, I wish I could share this with y'all, with what I just retweeted. Well, let me share it with y'all. I want to know if y'all can see it as well, because it's so dope. But fuck the game's on. Let me show y'all. Should be all good still, right? Yeah, we're all good still. We're still waiting. I'm going to go on Twitter real quick.
Can y'all see? Oh man, it's so cool. I want to know if y'all can see the picture. I want to know if y'all can see um, the image. All right, let me share my screen. Come on. Can y'all see the picture? Oh, well, it makes it a lot easier over here. I don't know, man, I don't know. Can y'all see the picture? I mean, can you see who it is? Let me know. I see it clearly without my, I mean, I can see it with my shades on or without my shades on. But now that, you know, like, some people won't be able to see that picture. You know what I'm saying? It's probably say Constantine. It's Marilyn Monroe. You know Marilyn Monroe is a Gemini, yeah. Shout out to us Jimmies. All right, let me get back to the game. Let me get back to the game. All right, we good, we good. All right. Oh, stop, someone scored. Someone scored on Oral Rain. Uh, someone scored either Oral Rain or uh, Gotham. So I'm not too sure. I'm waiting on the chat to tell me. Nice stop from the Lord. Okay, so I'm not you. What the fuck? Well, what? Hmm. I think they want you to download their app and sign up and do all that extra stuff. Cause it hasn't it hasn't gone live on YouTube yet. Cause that's what they said they were gonna go live on. The U the L S U V. Maybe maybe I'd be upset if uh If it's like blocked, geo blocked.
Henri scored a goal. Um, Millard scored a goal. And I think uh, Mar Amarel scored a goal as well, number seven. Oh. Broom. So let me get on the NWSL because I don't know who scored. Oh, wow. Gotham scored. Amanu scored at the ninth minute. Nice. She's been scoring goals. Congratulations. I'm not, I think right now, I think Sidney Rue has the most goals right now. I want to just see, it's so hard for the ladies to get like double digits. So like, I don't know when people are going to be able to beat Sam Kerr's record. Real quick, so we can get some good vibes. Damn, yellow card already. <laughs> Everybody, what happened? There's another goal. Oh, shit. Getting beat already. Two oh shit. Two goals and mama knew. Let me has scored another goal. Damn, she on her brace already. Uh she scored in the ninth minute. She scored in the 15th minute. Uh Ophinia Mananu, the Nigerian striker. Nice. She's playing really, really well for Gotham. <laughs> Yo, Stas Olo Reigns, little stint. You know, they was dominant. I mean, they was like undefeated for a little, not undefeated, but they was going on a run. All right. 13 minutes here. Still nil nil. Three corners for Portland already after 13 minutes. Inler made so many big saves in the match versus Barca. So did Panos. It was a stellar match. Something like it was like a fucking Champions League game. It was like a Champions League game. Damn, big shot. Nice save. All right. I'm probably I'm probably chill on this one. I don't really gotta invest too much, too much, but you know, I mean, oh yeah. Oh, you got me some peanut M and M's. Fucking love these guys. Oh, here comes Casincario. Plug my other phone in because it's about to die.
Okay, we good. In Houston, not Houston. <laughs> um, Orlando plays tomorrow, I believe. Uh, probably Washington. The game, people are in the Twitch don't even know the game's on right now. <laughs> Someone tell them though. That's good. You gotta. Uh, it's it's that's why I'm, I'm trying to uh, uh, must if I can see if I can watch the Swedish league as well um, because their their website well, the way they got it set up. They have they it's through W United or something like that. Um, so I want to try those out. Give the Swedish side a good a uh, uh, look at. See if I can fucking like it if I can uh, choose a team to support, and we'll follow them. And you know, it's good to get to know some of the players based upon the way they play, right? And uh, of course, you already told y'all, fell in love with the Swedish team. Like since last, since since um, when did I fall in love with Swedish team? I guess that was all last year. <laughs> well, yeah, I fu I fuck with the Swedes heavy. Sophia Smith, she giving herself in good positions. Good save, though. Oh, my goodness. Did you see the way Marjorie just faked out both those players? Let's see this again. <laughs> nice. A bit better save. Everyone, as you can see in the uh, chat, well, if you're in the Discord, you can see the Twitch chat. Well, because I got the Twitch chat. Anyways, they're saying Leon and Barcel is very good, as we as and so is Houston and, and, and Barcelona as well. That was a great match too. Even though you know Barcelona dominated, it was still a good match.
it'd be very interesting too uh, as well um like it's 2021 y'all you gotta be very wise how you choose to name yourself which be pretty funny because some of these names i'd be like why did you name yourself that <laughs> but i mean some people are don't know i don't know it'd be very interesting <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to upload, <laughs> fingers crossed, uh, the Racing Louisville and um, Byron game. So, uh, I, fingers crossed, no copyright, because that was a great match. I want to share with everyone, because uh, we, we, we enjoyed that. I enjoyed that game, um, especially because we were watching uh, as well, Houston and Barca and, you know, um, we've been live for, yeah, four, four and a half hours now. So I appreciate everyone that's, like, just been chilling and rocking with me. Ooh, that was close. Marjorie. Marjorie. Yo, I don't know if she's ever been nominated for Player of the Year or anything, but um, I don't know if she's ever left Leon either, but... um. Quality player. <laughs> oh my goodness. One thing that I do notice about, you know, the European sides is that I don't feel a, a sense of panic as much when it comes to them defending in their box. Like, I don't get that uh, that feeling. But like, when of course, when I watch Houston, it's like anytime player has a team play the has the opposite team has uh, the the ball in the box and like we're trying to they're trying to clear it. It's like. Sometimes I do get that that panic energy. I feel that energy, and I'm like, "Fuck!" It's not so much with the uh, European sides. They're very composed, very calm, very collected. Um, like, like yeah, we do this simple. Um, and that's something I feel. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, what kind of I don't I didn't even see if Catalina was in um or um, oh rains i'm sorry if Catalina was with leon back is she back now so like we still want to i still want to see her play as well because um she is future usa Yellow card. Got me some 
Sprite. I'm not advertising Sprite, but you already know we got some Sprite. <laughs> this cat. Cool cat, cool cat, Samuel. Cool cat, Samuel. There's a lot of people out there tonight as well. Looks like it. Could be more, but you know, they're probably fucking A, social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know why I feel really good. Like, like I feel good. Cause sometimes the football matches be like draining me, but damn. <laughs> Someone can't fly there. <laughs> Pook. Pook. Pool arch. <laughs> she was flying in. Uh, um. So so far today, the winners were Fran France or Paris. Um. Racing, Louisville. North Carolina Courage, Barcelona, and this is the last game of today. And your girl's been here live for all of the action. That's what makes me different. Not that, that we're all different, period, point blank. I like this song too. <laughs> All right, Portland. It's a different feel for some. I I, I would have thought um. You know. All sides. That was weird. It looked like she was behind Wendy. But it just feels different. I guess it's because Portland is at home. So it's like, a t let's see this replay. OK, so I wasn't looking at the right player. So oops. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the right player. But damn, Portland, seven offsides? Shit, you sound like making you look like USA. So courage all the way. I think it's going to be um, Portland courage. Looks like Gotham are playing well. Um, I could see a Portland courage final if, if they don't face each other. But Portland and courage may have a first round by. Um, but yeah, it could be either Portland. I think Portland's gonna oh, fuck me. But they might <laughs> they might make the final this year again. Uh and North Carolina's been doing well, as always. I mean, signing, you got now you got another goal scorer and and uh <clears throat> Amy Rodriguez, you know, it's nice. And Lynn Williams came back with some goals already. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be very interesting. You can see Portland and, and, and Courage. But I, I, I choose, I would choose Courage. Yeah, I would choose Courage over Portland for sure. And if it was Courage or an Olo Rain, I'd still choose Courage. Real oh, shit. Why would I choose courage? So I like the way they play. I like, I mean, you know, and Davina is such a fun player to watch. And, you know, they're pacey. And then um, you got Sam Lewis, Lynn Williams, McDonald. Now you got Amy Rodriguez. Um, and, of course, Houston. If Houston can make it, you know, that would be fantastic. But right now. 
courage are growing on my heart. <laughs> um, should be very, but, and then when it comes to like, uh, <laughs> okay. Nice, that's great. I I'm happy that um, you found a team that you like. I'm happy you found the team that you like. I think football football has <laughs> football saved my life. Real shit. Especially going through it. Especially like during everything that happened that's been happening in the world. It's really saving our lives. In a way. Not I mean we're saving our own lives, but damn, you got me going. Um, but it really has helped me stay at equilibrium. Remember to focus. But also, a lot, there's a lot of things, a lot of things in the sports realm once you You said that's your book title. What's my book title? I mean, um, you said that's your book title. I mean, I, what do you mean? I don't have a book, but the book that I'm reading Oh yeah, football saved my life. <laughs> That's my book title. <laughs> Maybe. The way I've used it has really helped me. Um, of course, express things. Ooh, damn. That was close. That ball didn't get deflected. Football saved my life. And it saved a lot of people's lives. I mean, I've heard, I listened to interviews of Farrah Williams. She said it saved her life. Um, some of the OGs in the game. But it saved a lot of people's lives because it's been a, a something that anything you do, anything that you love to do, sometimes you have to use that to get out of what you're in. And it helps you, but you can't depend on it like a crutch because you always got to remember or have to let go. But um, he said it was kind of an escape that became a comfort to me. Right. Right. It was something to take. It was something to take my attention from everything that was going on in the world, right? And then I wanted to experience. I was like, "What is it like being a coach?" So when I got to be able to coach the children, it was a it was a great uh, feeling for me and a great experience. Um, just teaching them the the things that I watch on TV <laughs> and YouTube videos. You know, what I'm saying just the simple things. That I see some of the great, some of the good teams do. No, simple. But with that, I mean, and then, <clears throat> but yeah, football. Ooh, it was close as well. Dang, it was a good shot. But now, now that I've uh, been able to uh, use football, we're gonna continue to uh, fly high. You know what I'm saying? We're above, we're, we're, we're above right now. Portland in Anita's joint spaceship. We're, we're, we're above Portland right now. <laughs> well, they're looking, we're looking down at the game. <laughs> That's why you got esoteric, esoteric football commentary. <laughs> it's a different type of commentary. It's, ne it's commentary you'll never hear from anyone else, ever. Which is great. And we all got access to the esoteric realm. Or 
or the astral plane. But we got a good view. <laughs> we got a good view. We got a good view of the game as well. I mean, I got a good view right here at the Casa. Well, thank you for sharing that with us, Intercept, a concept. I appreciate you for sharing that with us. But I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, y'all know I'm spiritual, but um, and we're all spiritual. But um, you know, when you start to think one train of thought, you just continue to stay on that path of train of thought, right? And so that's what happened when it came to football. Like, I started to like uh, get to the devil of the details, and I started to see some things I didn't like, right? That I I acknowledge, and I tell y'all now. And um, it's very, very interesting because this realm is like so interesting. This realm that we live in is like, it's one low vibrational, it's low vibrational, it's like low dense. So it's like, um, it's just slow, right? <laughs> it's just slow. <laughs> And then us being spirits and bodies, you know, doesn't make things any easier. But learning about this realm is very interesting. And how and how they use football, you know what I'm saying? They meaning the shadow government. And them just meaning because they look at this all in general. Remember, I don't know if I told y'all, but remember the five pillars? The five pillars meaning religion government, um, education, entertainment, and I think it was politics. And that creates infrastructure, right? And so they look at the, all of this as how they built the world. But, but, That's another, that's for another video, right? That's for another video. We're almost, or I'm almost done with the number games books too. That I'm almost done with number games as well. And it's really helped me like, like just, you know, no more, right? Reading, <laughs> no more reading, no more about, uh, just no more. And it's unfortunate the sports is scripted, but and how I was able to use it, even though I wasn't aware that it was like scripted like that. I don't, so far, I don't think it's like scripted, 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 like when it comes to the males game, but it's a lot more behind the scenes when it comes to the ladies game. Um, but like we said, we could still enjoy, because if we want to change it scripted, yeah, the winners are um, yeah. The winners are um, they do rituals and spells. That's why, like um, the Olympics and the World Cups and these things are okay. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that kind of sucks to know, right? It, it's like, damn, like what? It's not like actually, like 
I think, like I said, if, when women's football, I think it's – I feel like it's just like, okay, who's just a better team? But then sometimes I'm like, mm, it's a little, mm, little, little suspect. You know what I'm saying? It's a little suspect. So uh, – because sometimes I'll be looking at these teams like, you should not be losing to them. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. How, how did y'all lose? Like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, but, um, ooh. And then, like I said, because I got into the devil of the details with this, it sometimes it does kill the enjoyment of the game. But I still have to, you have to find, well, you don't have to. I find equilibrium in it. But sometimes the things that they do do make me mad because I see what they're doing, right? But they're making women's football more magical, more special because the men's game, you know, it's always been very good. And and uh, so now they're turning their attention to the women's game in football because it's, it's growing right? People are more interested into it, right? Especially in America. Um, thank, thankful, thanks to the USA team, right? That they probably scripted it for. But anyways, um, it's growing and, and we, we have to peep game and how they use it, right? So we don't get used ourselves and be favoring one side or the other side. <clears throat> but overall, that's just in one section of, of the of the pillar. They're they're doing a, a, a total uh, reset of all the infrastructure. That's why. <clears throat> oh, oh, that's half. That's half time, man. A lot of chances for um, both teams, I think. I think more Leon. It kind of had a little bit more, but also Portland. Sophia Smith, she looks good. Getting close. Is this a water break or is this halftime? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's halftime. Yeah, it's halftime. I wasn't too sure. I was like, is it water break, halftime? Yeah. But, yeah, she but, you know, we still going to rock out. I'm still going to celebrate when Houston wins. I'm still going to celebrate when Barcelona wins. I'm still going to celebrate when PSG wins. I'm still going to celebrate and parlay because that's energy I can use, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because what they do, they, they harness energy. It's a, it's a ritual. So they need, it's a ritual to harness energy. These World Cups and everything that they host for us. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like, but... You know what I'm saying? We can, if you know, if you're peep game, you, you can, you can, uh, well, that's what we're doing. We're waking up. We're waking up. And, um, you know, we're making sure we take responsibility for ourselves and stuff like that. And, you know, it feels good to, to know myself. Football has really helped me become a more unique individual, has helped me. Uh, because you, as a spirit, you're naked, so you have you have cloths in front of your and cloths. You have to cl clothe yourself. So football is I, I present a certain face to you because I'm in the space. I mean, I'm, I'm able to present a certain face to you because I'm using football as one of my cloths as a spirit because I'm naked, no shape, no form, no thing. So football has helped me as a spirit has helped me as an individual, not knowing myself, start to understand myself and my you and my uniqueness. And um, I'm grateful for that. You know what I'm saying? But but yeah, you know, it's great, it's great to just, you know, just uh, be grateful. It's great to be grateful and to be appreciative and to be, you know, just on your path, on your mission, doing you, being you, and, you know, it's the greatest feeling once you just start to tap into yourself. You're like, damn, I'm, I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty awesome. 
I'm great. There ain't no one like me, and there never will be. And no, I'm one of a kind. I'm a one of a kind star, as you are as well. You know, and it's just great to know that. And it's in in the like I said, the more of us know that, the better. You know. Mm. We out here. We gotta be here. But yeah, and then you get to like share your your stories. You get to share with people that um, are interested in the same thing that you're interested in. And especially now when it comes to the Great Awakening, you know, we're really having, well, Peace Dealer calls it the revolution of the individual, meaning um, it's not about what the collective says, like the majority group. It's about what you say as an individual, as a person. And you being a spirit, you being have a space, meaning you have an individual spirit, meaning you have a soul, you have a solo space, you know, nobody thinks the same the way you think. Nobody sees the things that you see the way you see it. They can come to an understanding, and based upon all of us being in this realm, we can come to an understanding. But right now, as you see, we have to, uh, uh, you know, say like, well, it's karma. All the stuff that we have allowed in our lives as solo individual spirits and based upon um, the collective, um, we're awakening. <laughs> we're awakening, right? We're waking up to who we are, immortal beings, immortal spirit, spirits, no shape, no form, just a spirit in a body at the moment, but I'm no thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm none of this thing of, the, of this realm. You know what I mean? Oh, snap. Hold on. Of course, that would interrupt me. <laughs> right. In that, in that, um, you know, we got we got live, we got our past lives, we got our lives that we're living right now. And depending on how your life is, it's just how your life's going. And we can always do better to be our greatest versions or to be the greatest of all time, as I call it. You know what I'm saying? The greatest of all time in your life, because you're one of a kind. And uh, you know, we're just bringing our own unique individuality that's in us and expressing it. Uh, finally, a lot of us, a lot of us, and we gotta, there's a lot of toxic energy or, and that we have to transcend, that we have to be aware of. Because, uh, you know, we're always being, <laughs> it's like we're always being attacked spiritually with the unseen forces that, that don't want us to like vibe with each other and, and connect. And, you know, they always wanna talk about divisions and stuff that we're not of this realm. And um, because I use sports, I attract a lot of people that are in that magic square or that box and so you know me being awake and me being aware of myself i can help uh eradicate that help uh that that those those things because we're not i'm, I'm not my race i'm not what i look like and so you know eventually you know we'll see how long i mean it, it's like you can be aware like, like if the players were aware like yeah we're not actually you know you know like it, it, it's, it's hard because that's all we've been taught right that we're french that we're african-american that we're black that we're hispanic that we're mexican that's all we've been taught right based upon the history books and especially when you're in sports that's what they promote to us all the racism because people have been indoctrinated you see people continue to use racial slurs and you're just like why do we continue to hate each other? Why do we continue to divide each other? And this is what they promote to us. You know, you should stay off the internet to, to support, you know, this, this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's tough because uh, I didn't know either. <laughs> you know, I didn't know either until now. And luckily, 
I came around to like, you know, wanting change and stuff like that. But we got to reteach ourselves. We got to reteach ourselves in any way, shape, or form how we go about it. I mean, it's of value. It's of service. Um, you know, and really, uh, the, <clears throat> just do you. You got to trust you. You got to trust your intuition. Because sometimes there's not going to be someone like at the moment outside of you that's going to uh, confirm what you're saying, you know? And that's why I had to realize. And um, <laughs> goodness, uh, and, uh, they're talking about some, some stuff in the chat, in the Twitch chat. <laughs> Chosen one swinger. <laughs> Chosen One Singer is instigating, but we need to stop instigating these unconscious folks. It's like, it's not their fault they're unconscious, but you know, eventually they'll wake up, right? Eventually we'll all wake up to ourselves. It just depends on when you want to. You know, it just depends on when you want to. Because I know that I'm I'm a wiser spirit than my my the people that raised me. Right? I'm an older spirit. I'm the, I'm the I'm the elder, I'm the elder in my family. <laughs> but um, you know, I I just think about uh, some of the missions that I want to accomplish here on planet Earth. Especially, I think I just want to uh, you know teach people. Well, I'm a student because I'm a Gemini, so I continue to study, uh, and and study people, and. But um, teach teach the children, right? That's something that we have to do. Teach the children, and uh, just be an example. That's all we can do is be examples. Be our best examples, right? Our chosen ones getting deleted by the moderator. <laughs> but uh, it sucks because it's like when you think about it, we don't have to. We can't. They say, they say, he's, they, this is what they say in the Twitch chat. All right. And this is how they're programming people. Where is it at? Hello. Just a few skylines reminders. Be respectful. No racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, or other harm or other hurtful language. Comments that violate these rules will be deleted. People who violate these rules will be banned. When you think about being respectful, that's a principle and virtue that we all should know, right? No racist, sexist, so racist. You know, like people are still brought up to be racist. People, and then we got, people are still brought up to be sexist. People are still brought up to not like the opposite sex, not like the same sex not like themselves, don't be homophobic. Don't be transphobic. Oh, that's the, that's the thing now, right? Don't be transphobic. And don't, in other hurtful languages. And all this language is bastardized because who created the word uh, uh, respectful? Who created the word racist? Who created the word sexist? Who created the word homophobic? Who created the word transphobic? Huh? Who created all these words? And then you look out in the world and they do that in front of our eyes every single day. They make television program series about the same things they preach and teach us not to do. You see the reverse psychology, the reverse psychology fuckery we deal with every single day. And then when we speak out, all he said, he was like, I don't see why people that wear masks. He was like, I don't see, I don't understand. He's like, yeah, I don't understand why people think wearing masks can stop a virus. I, I don't think that's not respectful, racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, or other hateful language, but because it's not with people's majority, it, it's, 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 it's censored, it's deleted. Why can't we speak our, our truth? And so with that being said, they created all that stuff and they tell us not to do it and they turn around and do it in front of us. And so, and then people are indoctrinated with what they see on the TV, which is the reverse of what they tell us to do. And then they get mad at us for seeing the truth and awakening to the truth. And, you know, 
we're like, fuck, what are we supposed to do? So we got to connect with people that we got to connect with people that see what we see because teamwork makes the dream work. It's really difficult doing it solo, but remember, you're you're a powerful spirit. But when you got you got a team, you got people with you, it's, it makes it even better. You know what I'm saying? It makes it even better. And especially since we're in the realm of sports, I got we get people that come. I got people that come to me all the time. You know what I'm saying? And and think, oh, you're American. You're American culture. Such culture like this. Because we've been, they've been programmed. We've been programmed. We've been American. I mean, shit, we've been programmed to see that we're the best, the land of the free, the home of the brave. You know what I mean? And, and that's how we've been programmed, right? And especially when it comes to sports, like we're the best. You know what I mean? And then you find out they do rituals and spells behind it, right? They 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 script this stuff. It's like oh, fuck, fuck. and then, and then. Uh, you just, you, you know, there's so many things. So you have to like have equilibrium. Um, now, don't go too far and don't get too like in deep. Don't get so in 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 deep until you get lost into this shit because it all is entertainment. But we appreciate the entertainment, you know what I'm saying? But I still study. I still read. I still do the things that that make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? Always, always trust your spirit. However people make you feel, trust that shit first. Okay? Trust that shit first. I don't give a fuck what else they have. Because I've, you know, I in my life, I've had so many people that have that had so much of this material world, so much of this world that you would think that they wouldn't, you know, be upset for anything. But these are the same people that are unconscious and then they get mad at you for not having half the shit they have, but just you knowing yourself. And so that makes it even tougher. Like, what the fuck? You have everything you could ever want, but you hate me because I know myself and you don't. So you got to peep for those, especially in sports. Oh, you, you're not black. You, you're not black. Why can I not say that I'm not black? What's wrong with that? Why is that offensive? Why is that, you know what I'm saying? Why is that offensive for me not to say I'm not black? You know? Oh, because you want us to carry that 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 label with us for the rest. No, 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 no. I ain't I'm not carrying no. I'm a spirit in a body. I'm a powerful spirit. But remember, this is how we were programmed. This is how we were brought up when we apply for all our jobs. What nationality are you? Continue to keep us in our box without thinking outside the box. But with the Great Awakening, that's that's what's happening. We're like, fuck it, we've, we're done. Because they're still killing black, brown, white, whatever color you may want to... They're still killing everyone. And especially in, in Zach's book, he talks, he says one thing. When one, parts, when one part of the country suffers, we all suffer. Because we're all walking this planet together, right? We're all sharing football together. We're all sharing sports together. We're all sharing good energy together or low, you know, whatever. We're all sharing. We're all part of this realm right now at this current moment. And we're so divided. And we have to really um, trans, you know, we have to uh, maneuver. But every level, there's new devils. It's like, who created that shit? Like, why? I think about, like, why do I, why is there new levels every time you, like, become to be better? There's new devils. Like, the opposition, you know, the force, and then they come, they are trickier, they're more methodical, but it's some crazy shit. It's some crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? This way you can't not lose yourself. Remember why you started everything that you did. Um, and, but all I can tell you, all, all I can tell you is to always think for yourself. If you get anything from your girl and you're flying high, is always think for yourself because I'm a Gemini, meaning I think. So, Always think for your goddamn self. That's this point blank period. Really don't know what else to tell you in your life because I, your journey is different than my journey. You know what I mean? And um, the game's back on. But <clears throat> but yeah, the game's back on. Forty seven minutes, and you know, hopefully one day I meet some of these people. Uh, if not. Oh, excuse me, some of these stars. If not, oh, I hope one of them comes across your girl's channel so they can wake up too. 
Because if the athletes that are being presented on television start to speak their truth and more, not just Black Lives Matter type shit, but more <laughs> like more um, themselves, knowing their soul, knowing that they're in, they're immortal. No, no, they start to express more like not saying what I'm doing, but they have more freedom because they don't have freedom like we do. They don't have the, they can't speak their truth like we can, you know, because they have so many lights after lights looking at them. They got endorsements, they sign contracts, you know what I'm saying? They have quote unquote people that look at them in a certain way. And then they get used in certain ways to promote or to tear down whatever agendas they may have uh, signed up for. Um, but you, you, to remind the athletes, don't let them use you. You use them. You know what I'm saying? Because there's more athletes. There's more of us than them. So why are we allowing them to use us? A small majority of these uh, frequencies uh, use us. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it, it, it gets a, it's a thin line. And it's, it's like, you know, do they know? I think some do, some don't. I don't know. It's tough, but they got to be careful. They got to be careful. So that's why I like, I feel, I, I don't fear for the uh, athletes, but I do, I am cautious of which ones get really big. And because, you know, if you've been reading with the book, I mean, they kill these, they kill for sports. That's what Zach said. They kill for sport. They kill for sport. And that they kill children too. Like, so nobody's off limits. Um, so these energies, that are controlling our planet, our realm. So like when it comes to the athletes, they have to be really, really careful how they move because it is a test. Uh, they want to know how many doors you'll go through, how, how much you'll give of yourself to get this contract, how much of you, well, how much will you do to do these, to get, to be comfortable, to have your family okay, you know what I'm saying? And it'll test you. Uh, and you know, who, it is, it's a thin line. It's like, and so they, they, I just want them to know they have to be careful out here when they're moving. And, and, and um, I, I, I hope we, we, we send the protection to all the athletes because we don't want anybody, you know, taken out. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I, don't, I don't know if y'all remember, there was a, a player that had drowned, uh, a soccer player that had drowned. And recently, I mean, in the news, they had talked about uh, a soccer player that had like, it was some crazy stuff that had happened. But Erickson, right? We talked about, she checked out my sports and spirituality blog. Um, they use all these athletes for whatever agendas. Black Lives Matter, kneeling, as you can see. Well, we can't see that. They continue to reprogram our mind, like black. And then you got Leon, all, all rain with black fun foundation on their jersey. Like what? Like you're exploiting? You're, you're you're profiting off of of black people, <laughs> but and none of that money's going to no black fun foundation, bitch. You just named it that. Ain't none of that money going to no black people, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? So it's just oh, the fuckery, and it's cringy when you see it. Really? And do they know? The athletes know? I don't know if they know. But all we can do is just, you know, be ourselves and, um, you know what I'm saying, and, and say what we want to say, no matter if it makes people mad, makes people run away, you know. I can't help how I feel. I can't help what I know now, you know. But anyways, let's get, let's, let, me, let me get back into this game. That was a spiritual commercial. It's over. All right. So looks like Lindsay Horan has come into the game. Um, so hopefully we get the goals that we got. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll get some goals uh, this second half because we need a winner. And also with football, I like that you can go and you can go travel. You can travel in general. But for me, I was like, fuck, I can go travel and go to like different football stadiums 
and experience their, their supporters, their atmospheres, how they how they treat their players out there. That's an experience that'd be pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so far, I mean, I'm there. I'm the, where I'm at right now. Um, I well, we don't have a, like a, a, a WSL team or a soccer team, a professional team yet. But um, we just have one. We just have San Antonio Spurs. But like Houston, like I support Houston. But you see the stadium. <laughs> You see the stadium be naked. Why are we naked? I'd be like, no. The whole stadium be naked. And I'd be like, mm, I can't, I can't, I can't stay here. You know what I'm saying? I can't. You know, I'm gonna be in the crowd by myself. Got the whole stadium to myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, I don't know. In America, someone that looks like me is not really like supposed to be interested into football, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm the total, I'm the total opposite. I'm like, well, I played, I played basketball, but I enjoy, I enjoy this game of football. But there's a lot of people that look like me that think it's weird. But then in, in America, but in other countries, this is normal, you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so it's like, fuck. But you know, we're all we're all uniquely uh, awesome. We're all uniquely awesome, which is great. I don't know. I just I feel really good. I'm just feeling. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling good tonight. You know what I mean. It just feels good to know yourself and just start to remember, start to remember yourself. And you're like, it's like, man, it's awesome. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, so it looks like Crystal Dunn, Christine Sinclair, Haran all came on to see if they can beat Leon. Very, very, and and um, I do think um, the games have not gone expected like everyone kind of predicted. Like I was thinking. It was. I thought I was thinking Houston's game was gonna be like not like that, <laughs> but luckily it was a good game. Uh, and as you could see, it, it is. I feel like you no know, matter where you are and what what uh, where you play football at, um, there's a competitive matches uh, in every league, and when uh, well, when when the other leagues play each other, like like now. And um, sometimes it'd be the European teams that'd be playing each other that'd be thrashings, right? More thrashings than playing a NWSL team because of the different uh, mentalities and the different way of playing the game. And uh, they're not intimidated. Uh, the competitive, the competitive sees there, right? But get me, get me on the mic. Get me on the mic. Let me be the uh, uh, the commentator on ESPN too. Man, you know how people will start to wake up. 
<laughs> but luckily, I got y'all listening to me. You know what I'm saying? But just imagine your girl need a flying high in front of, I don't know how people are watching the game right now, but any game, any sports event, any big event where a lot of people's eyes are on and we speak in so much truth, nigga, too real for TV. They can't put us on TV. That's why they got to hide my channel. <laughs> they got to hide my channel. They got to censor your girl. This is my third YouTube channel. Just because I'm streaming football. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Just just imagine. Just imagine. The whole the the the, the world would be different if they didn't censor people that were spitting so much truth. And so you know, we I continue to I continue to continue on. Oh continue. I will continue to continue on. And I'm I'm very grateful to be able to, to talk about sports and spirituality with you all. <laughs> you know, cause I think, I think it's awesome. Some people don't think sports are spiritual and that's kind of like, I'm like, don't like, first of all, they both start with an S, <laughs> an SP, but I always feel I'm a spirit in a body. I mean, anything that I do is spiritual. People are like, oh, you might, but some people will make anything spiritual because I feel like you can in a way. Just depending on how you use it, right? Because some things don't don't sound right, but you can you can combine the two, right? You can combine the two once you know the rituals, the spells, and Yeah, but that's how it's, that's how my I th that's how my channel came about. I was like, I wanted to talk. I wanted to be able to talk sports, but also talk some spirituality. Talk, and uh, I'm learning how to master that, of course, because I'm mastering myself, and it feels good. It feels good. It feels good, and I'm grateful. Like, <laughs> with y'all wouldn't even. Ah, it's so crazy because I was so I told a different person like two years ago, and now you didn't met your girl. I need a flying high. <laughs> oh. oh, and also I meant to tell y'all, I was like, y'all, if you would like to like drop y'all's Instagrams or social medias, if you're watching me on the Discord or anything, um, and you want to connect, continue to connect. Feel free to, you know, because we we can't not we can't be afraid to share ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it gets scary because we're not used to it. We're not used to expressing ourselves. Um, well, you know, I mean, we're not used to doing that because we've always been wearing masks. Maybe not you, but I was. Um, and so with that, you know, now that, you know, once I started to just like say, fuck it, you know, shit, the door just opened, like, because it, you start to realize this is what everyone else is doing. That's, that's the secret. That's the secret. Everyone's just saying what they want to say. And then fuck it. If people fuck with you, they fuck with you. They don't, they just work for you. You know what I'm saying? No one's perfect in, in this realm. Our imperfections make us perfect. Was she found? Oh, nope. Uh oh, hold on. I think it's a corner pick. I didn't really get a good look at that play right there. Uh, no VAR in this, in this tournament. <laughs> Just 
But, um, and then you can't, I mean, understand, like, and don't be afraid to, um, question everything I say. You know I me? Mean? Like I say, you always got to just think for yourself. And something that I learned, or that I'm still continuing to learn, is that I feel like once you've gotten, not once you, because we're continuing to gain knowledge along our journey, but then it's time for you to start teaching, you know? People need to know, because you have you have soul knowledge of, of your travels, right? So um, in whatever shape or form you teach or share your gifts and talents, you have to do that. So people, you one, so you leave your footprints in the sand, to inspire others, you know? So my our YouTube channels or our, our books, our magazines, our photos, our pictures will all be our Bibles that are here left for others, the, the future generations to look up, to see, oh, wow, then she did that. Oh, wow, she did that. Oh, okay, cool. Like, so this is normal, you know what I'm saying? This is, what is normal, right? <laughs> but, um, so, so people um, can know that where there's so many different, there's so many different uh, sides of the creator that we've been created by. You know what I'm saying? So many different you, differences between how we express ourselves and how we perform our our magic. You know what I'm saying? Our mysterious magic, because we're our worse mysterious our spirit moves in mysterious ways you know what i'm saying so that's another thing you you, you gotta um because you know we know we're not supposed to be working no nine to five sometimes you need to do it to get where you need to go but we're all supposed to be self-efficient in our own creativities you know what i'm saying and doing what we want to do with our time if i want to talk about football and spirituality for Five hours and 33 minutes, I should be able to do that. You know why? Because I'm the fucking creator of my reality. I should be able to talk about whatever I want to talk about. And it's not about the money. It's about me doing what I want to do with my time, not someone else scheduling my time, right? And so that's another secret that I was starting to learn. I was like, oh, okay, so I can actually like do this and I can manifest money i could manifest things into my reality that i need to help me stay efficient or to help me stay stable in this reality they're like yeah i'm like oh shit oh shit so i can do that like if you do the work okay so i gotta do the work i gotta continue to go within because you know I, I, you kind of get more excited every time you're like oh shit i'm learning new things about i'm not i'm relearning the things i already knew about myself but I just forgot because I was, I was put to sleep, <clears throat> deep sleep for like 24 years. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, so um, what that's been, that's what's so great about that as well. And so then um, you get to just like be in awe and be in amazement of what you do. And then you can meet others that have amazing gifts and talents and you get to share and collab and, um, and have fun and enjoy each other, you know? And um, nice moves. Uh, and, and that's what's great about this realm as well. But they have taken that from us. The, uh, our, they have tried to. But we're awakening back. We're, we're, we're taking it back. Um, our creativities. Because we're being forced to, right? We're being forced to. COVID-19 sat everybody's asses down it was like you want to think about the shit that you want to do with your life this is your time to plan and reset it's like do you really want to do this for the rest of your life look at your parents they're not saying that your parents aren't you know well off but shit you know when you look at them like damn i don't want to do that for the rest of my life there are certain things you just don't want to do for the rest of your life right <laughs> Um, damn, my, phone, my other, my, my, I gotta plug my, what you call it in real quick, the speaker. Uh, come on, we need to go. Come on, Portland, Leon, come on now. 
We got the last match. We need some goals. Check out Paris seventy twenty ones. Let me. I need to go. Um, matter of fact, let me just highlight your name real quick so I can go follow you real quick. Um, because that's what I forgot to do that, and I told you I'd do that. Go on Twitch real quick. Y'all go follow. His pay. Well, let me let me find you over here. Oh my goodness, really? I shouldn't have to lie. Mm. What's up with it though? Thanks for hopping in and saying hello. Come on, come on. <laughs> no, thank you. Let me see. Let me go find you right here. Okay, I got you. Okay, I followed. Okay, so I followed you, Paris. No worries. Yeah, no worries, team. It's a uh, well. I'm all about the teamwork. <laughs> I'm all about teamwork. That's something uh, that's easy to do here to help each other, right? Without um, without wanting something in return, it's just the you know what I'm saying. But yeah, okay, I followed you. Y'all make sure y'all go check out. Uh, you it said I was saying you said you stream. When are you gonna? When do you usually stream? Like on the weekends, on the weekdays, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how many people stream for a living and that's all they do is make videos of them playing games and they've made a fortune off of it. Ain't it awesome what you can do in this realm? <laughs> I think it's incredible. Start, I'm just, just starting to realize like there's so many things we can just do. Oh, you can't stream till you get your new mic. Oh, okay, I got my. I got this mic. Um, I got. I got this mic. Um, I forgot when I got it. I got it for my podcast, but I ended up, you know, starting to do YouTube and stuff like that. But this one and the face cam, yeah, no worries, bro. No worries, you'll get it. Um, cause I got, I got this USB. It's a USB one. I'm not too sure what type of one you want, but, and then I got me a logo, a logo tech, um, a logo tech 720 or no, I'm sorry. A logo tech. Um, it's a 1080p camera. Not, it's not 1080p cause I'm stream I'm streaming on I we'll have two cameras on my laptop camera, and then I have the logo tip. But um, it's pretty good quality. I like it. It was like I think it was like seventy bucks, sixty bucks. But yeah, make sure you get get your equipment. Um, 
So you be all efficient and mess us up. Get yourself. Hey, what, what do you, uh, you have PC, Xbox, PS4, what you're streaming on? I have a I have a PS4 and a Oh you stream on Xbox? Sweet. Well, we'll be I'll be, you know, whenever you get your equipment. Um and if I ever catch you live, I'll come through and say what's up. So you act, we could actually, I can actually see your face because you know what I'm saying? Like, especially if I don't have y'all like on social media, I don't really know what you look like, <laughs> but you know what your girl looks like. So yeah, that's one thing. So hopefully all is well there. So you do still have to be careful when it comes to the internet stuff. You ever heard of the show called Catfish or something like that? We're not catfishing people, but still, you got to make sure you're, you're protected. You know what I mean? <laughs> but when you uh, put yourself out there, you you're, you open the door to anyone, not anyone, but you do open the door for people to feel your vibe. And you're going to have, you know, I, I, I would say like, I'm like, I don't feel like I'm like, I'm not a professional streamer. <laughs> uh, I'm still learning, but I think I'm pretty, I'm a, well, I'm a, a Gemini, so I learned pretty fast when it comes to the technology stuff. Oh, you say I do stream sometimes, even though I don't have the right equipment. Yeah, I mean, you gotta start. You gotta start with what you got. You gotta start with what you have. And then, I didn't. I didn't have a mic. I didn't have a. Uh, I didn't have a mic. I didn't have. I actually, I didn't have a right compute. My old laptop was Yankee, yo. My old laptop that I got because I have. A, I have a new laptop. I got two laptops. Um, but I didn't have, uh, my laptop, my other laptop that I was streaming matches in had like a whole line across it, had a whole fucking, cause I had picked it up and it had a whole, um, like black, it was just black, but I still was watching, I was still streaming my NWSL, I was still, you know, talking about, football. I was like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck, they can't see my screen, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, they can't see my screen, what it looks like. Um, but, uh, once I put the intentions, all right, everything, every time I get money, right, I'm going to upgrade this because you have to invest in yourself. That's what they say. So I started investing into things that I wanted. That I thought I should, you know, get, so I got me, you know, my TV is only, uh, I think my TV is like a 32, no, excuse me. My TV is like a, like a, it's, my TV is not even bigger than my AC. You know what I'm saying? My TV's maybe like, cause I think this this is like a four, like a, a fifteen point seven inch or something laptop. My TV's like slightly bigger than I. But I started investing myself. I got me a mic. I got me a new camera. I got me a laptop. I fucked around. And got me a light ring. And then I got, um, you know, uh, because the laptop that I got, it only had two USB things. So I had to buy one of those little extender thingies. I got that, you know what I'm saying? And this is pretty much my setup. I have two laptops. I have my mic, my ring light, my camera. And then I got, <laughs> I got like three phones, so. And the other phones on the charger, but they're not all on. <laughs> I got Wi Fi, you know what I'm saying? Simple, but effective, right? <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you don't, I um, mean, with the as you get your spirit will lead you into things that you need, you know what I'm saying. And so, but yeah, and so then I was like, all right. And I, then what I got was um, I started, I was like, well, I need a software to be able to like do what I do, especially because I wanted to stream football matches. 
So I, OBS Studio was something I started to learn how to function. And I'm, I'm not even at like, a, I'm still beginning. I, I'm like intermediate when it comes to OBS Studio because I don't do everything everyone else, IBC and everybody else be doing on the internet. And they got big ass monitors, big ass uh, laptop, TV screen. Oh, it's all fucking awesome, right? I'd be looking at people set up. I'll be looking at people set up for their live streams, especially their gaming live streams. I'm like, damn, bro, like that all that stuff is so super dope. Cause their computers be like super like genius. Like my computer's only a 250, my computer, my laptop is only a 250 gig uh gigabyte. So you know, oh shit, that hit the post. Um, yeah, so my laptop's not like um it's a it's a lin limbo. Well, it's better than my other one because my other one was old. My other one's HP. And then I got a um, this H. I have an HP stream. That wasn't. It was an and so. And usually I just plug my TV, put my laptop to my TV. It's hard to kind of like watch everything online. But um, and then I got like a Fire Stick. I know how to like jailbreak that stuff. So, you know, I'll be watching all my shows that I want for free. That's how I know all the football websites. Your girl's been doing some stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Just learn, learn with what you got. The more you have, they say the more you have, the more you shall be given. So, yeah, you use a fire stick. Yeah, I got I got my fire stick. My fire stick. It's probably like um man, I got that fire stick. Started learning how to like, oh I can do this, I can I can add this to that. <laughs> Not even, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I use the fire stick all the time. But right now I don't really have to because I, I just use my laptop. Cause sometimes, like especially when it comes to my TV shows, I won't be having my TV show, I'd be wanting to watch my TV show a day before it premieres on TV. So, like, I'd be torrenting in a lot of stuff. I'd be torrenting a lot of stuff. And so, <laughs> that's how I'd be watching my TV. But most of the time, I kind of, um, it's like a couple episodes here and there. But I, I play a lot of video. I play a lot of video games. I got, like, all the Mafia games. I got all the Assassin's Creed games. I got FIFA 2K Fucking, I got some survival games. I got like Far Cry. You know, I got I got I got a lot of games. I got Madden. I got some tennis games. Shit, poker. <laughs> On the, and like I got like and plus because you know I got uh, PlayStation Plus. They give you like free games, so I got those games that they give you. Man, I was really close. Uh, Rocky Rodriguez shot. They got 10 minutes left. It, if not, this is going to go to penalties. This match has kind of been eh compared to the other ones. Hasn't really grabbed my attention yet. I guess it's been even. But And before I got the ring stand, I got the um like a tripod set up because I used to like go out and do football recaps at the park <laughs> and talk about the games that I watched and talk about the stats and things that I seen. And then I was like, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start streaming football matches. We were just giving so much. I was like, ah, sometimes it's really hard. I just want to talk about what the game I'm seeing right now and be done. You say my main three, I got plays. Okay, Warzone, GTA 5, and Rocket League. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. That's what's up. Ooh. Morgan Weaver came on. She's already firing shots. Okay, I have th you have 13 games, but that's my main. That's what's up. And how, how old are you, Paris, if you don't mind me asking you? Like, how, how old are you? I okay, you're 14. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Keep. 
That's good. Okay. I never played Warzone or Rocket League, but I know a lot about the GTA series. <laughs> you say, yeah, I probably don't. No, you just, uh, um, that just means you're an older soul, you know. It ain't, it's not, uh, what do you call it? Um, age is just a number. Age is just a number. But you're a powerful 14-year-old. And I thank you. Oh, handball. I'm happy you came across me. That's why I had to start to be a lot more respectful because I didn't know who I was attracting. Why? I should have known better, but it really helped me uh, be more respectful in how I was talking. Because you never know who's watching, right? You never know who's watching in the audience. <laughs> yeah. But I'm happy that you're able to um, uh, do what you want to do. I don't know. Um, okay, so right now I'm playing Battlefield while watching your stream on my phone. Oh, I see, I see. That's what's up. That's what I usually do when I'm listening to people live stream. I'm on my game as well I, I, I like we always have to keep i mean even though i'm 25 i still have a childlike spirit because i'm you know my, who needs who needs to grow up when we're immortal <laughs> right Ooh, bad tackle. Okay, so something's happening over here because this Twitch chat is going crazy. Let me see, let me see, let me see. This is old Ram and Gotham. Hold on, let me see. What's the score line? Come on. Oh, wow. It's 2-2. Two, two. We asked for a draw, right? I remember I asked for a draw. So tomorrow, tomorrow, um, Washington play Orlando Pride. I'm going to see. Oh, oh, my goodness. They play at three, though. I think the, uh, the Swedish match plays at uh, four or something. Okay, so, damn, Houston, they're in eighth place with 18 points. The next closest is all right. Well, Washington has 19. Oh, he said something's wrong with your Xbox. Oh, shit. Wow. Morgan Weaver has scored. I told y'all. I told y'all. Hey, I didn't even get to see what happened. Wow. Mm. 
Endler came out. Let's see. Wendy Renard. Wow. Leon are gonna are Leon going to lose? Wow. Well, they got <laughs> Leon got three minutes, three to four minutes to, to score. But so far, we have 24 matches to play. So Portland have 14 played. The person the team that has the most games played is Chicago at 16. And they're with 21 points. So that's not too bad for Houston because Houston have 14 points. I mean 14 games played. 18, 19, 19, 20, 21. So they just need to continue to win, Houston. You got to – because number three has 22 points. Tw number four has 21 points. Number five has 21 points. And we're – three through eight are only separated by four points. And three through nine – are only separated by six points. So, have I ever watched Typical Gamer? Uh uh. Um, right now I just found this guy. Um, it starts with a T, but right now I've been watching him play um, Assassin's Creed. Uh, the uh, but. The V, the Greek, not the Greek one, but it's like, um, what what type of thing? It's like, uh, how how do they describe them? But how, but how, I forget what those, uh, I forgot how, what they're called, or, but the latest Assassin's Creed, that's the game I've been kind of watching. Um, but I haven't watched them in like two, two, two or three days. Because um, then it inspires me because I'll be watching how other people play. And I'm like, oh, shit, let me go try that out with the, um, my game and like go try to like uh, be as accurate and stuff. Oh, I was like, I didn't know you could do that. Um, so that's what it, I like to watch the gamers. So it like inspires me to uh, to try to do that in my game as well. But I'm, I guess I'm a, I would consider sometimes I'm a perfectionist when it comes to the gaming. But there's some games that I've played like over and over and over and over again. So sometimes I gotta like I play some different games. Like I ain't never like the last time I played like a shooter game like Battlefield. Uh, I I think I was playing Call of Duty. Uh, I have Call of Duty. Um, the World War one. I have that one. I think I have a call doing that one. And then um, I'm trying to think about, I really don't have like other like shooter, shooter games besides like the games that involve like, I like the third person where you get to customize your character and, you know, go out and do missions, stuff like that. You know, like GTA type stuff. So what happened? Oh, you said Call of Duty Vanguard is coming out. So yeah, I never. I mean, I never watched that. Um, but if you uh, if you get the game and you, and you stream it, I'll watch you. Oh, because my my uh, my friend Esoteric Cloud Surfer, he does. He what? He has um. He likes Pokemon. He's playing Pokemon Unite. So I'll hop on his stream and watch uh. Watch his stream, and then shit. He wants me. To, he wants me to try it out in September when he comes on PC. So I'll, I'll try it out, see if I want to uh, play and fuck around. Eventually, we will create a little team, go out, and you know, what I'm saying, play some games together, right? And have fun. <clears throat> But I would have to get an Xbox because he said he's gonna. He wants to get an Xbox as well. I just have a PS4 right now. 
And I don't know if I, I want to get the PS5 too because those graphics look hella nice. But uh, the Xbox One, I've had the Xbox One before. Uh, that was my first before I got the PS4. But I've had the, I had the Xbox 360. Well, we had the um, I don't the old Xbox, uh, and then we had the Xbox 360, and then the Xbox One. So and then I just stick the PS, and then I just got the PS4. But I think it's good to have both. Fuck it, if you can, why not? Wow, I can't believe Portland are about to steal this game. Leon really haven't done enough to win, unfortunately. Was Catalina on the pitch? Yep, she is. <laughs> All right, Paris. Thank you for hopping in and saying hello. Make sure y'all go uh, check out uh, and go follow his Twitch. And we'll be able to hop in the live just like you hop in my live and say hello, chat for a little bit. But peace out. All right, y'all. That's the game. Portland have won it. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Anita's Joint, hashtag Student Joint, where every day is payday, baby. Both individual teams got to lift trophies. Very interesting. But congratulations to Racing Louisville FC. Congratulations to Portland Thorns. Um, you know, getting the job done. And, you know, they're going to be holding up a trophy tonight. So we go parlay as well. Um, I enjoyed today. The six-hour live stream was pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and shut down, hop up out the Discord, hop up out of here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, thank, I thank everyone that came through and said hi and chatted and talked. You had a good time. So until the next time, Anita Flying High is flying out of here. Deuces.